Hello, super punks. Welcome back to Los Angeles 2119. I'm Eric Campbell. This is Callisto 6. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! I'm, just trying, I'm, just, I'm trying new stuff. I'm, I'm glad to see the stuff. professionalism of last week has been superseded by the awesomeness. Thank you. Yes, I was like, I can never open the show like that ever again. <laughs> it's just way too formal. Too off brand. Uh, so how's everybody doing? It's Friday. Thank God. I'm I'm eyeing Hector's new jacket. We got a new jacket. Yay! Yay! It's more of a bodysuit so now. It's looking good, man. I know, man. It is it, so shway. Thank you. <laughs> it's got to be less hot, yeah? It's it is. It's less... just as noisy, thankfully. <laughs> so, dude, I was worried about that. Sorry, everybody's ears. Sorry. What's the exact <laughs> reason you wanted a new one? Yeah, <laughs> is the exact What's reason? the exact reason you wanted a new jacket? Yes. <laughs> Hector ASMR. <laughs> Sorry to call that out. It's like the, less the squeak, soothing sounds. More um, ocean sounds. So, yeah. a couple of announcements yes. tonight. Um, of course, a big shout out to our sponsors. It's so thrilling to have a sponsor for the show. Um, you guys help us so much. It's going to be really exciting uh, to see what we can do uh, with your support. Thank you so much to Okie Dokie Dice um, for sponsoring <laughs> us. Um, Okie Dokie Dice are available in all markets except North America, but that's coming in March, so that's only about a month away now. Ooh, um, countdown now. Yeah, so they've got all different types of dice styles, and you can find them at okidokidice.com or at okidokidice on all the social media platforms. So check that out. Also, uh, Monty Cook Games, uh, they are our beloved friends, and we love them over there. Of course, they are the creators of the Cypher system um, that we use here in Callisto 6. Um, the Numenera Humble Bundle is still happening. Yeah, so, um, yeah, say it 10 times. Humble, humble bundle, humble. Oh. It don't. oh, yeah, I made it twice. It went into the ends. Uh, so, for just $1, you can get the PDFs of the new dual core book set of Numenera, which is Discovery and Numenera Destiny, which, in my opinion, that's the best stuff that Numenera's put out. And that's saying a lot because they've mm -hmm. put out some pretty. De into the Deep was awesome, by the way. If you guys are watching at home, Monty Cook Games, Into the Deep was a rad supplement. I love that supplement. <laughs> um, and a host of other fantastic supplements. This is the best part. For $15, at the $15 level on Humble Bundle, you'll get 28 books total in PDF. That blows my mind. Damn, Jim. Um, of, of Numenera. <laughs> <laughs> I know. More than enough to me. <laughs> 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 That's the whole good things in this life. <laughs> um, I haven't heard that in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it back. Yeah. Let's yeah. bring it back. Great rap. This is Great when rap. I wore that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so fifteen dollars, you get the whole bundle. It's twenty-eight <laughs> books, and um, it goes to uh, it supports a charity of your choice. And this month's, like this month's charity, is one of them is featured. Is uh, it gets better, which supports um, LGBTQ plus youth. So we highly recommend. I like that. Um, yeah. That's a that's a damn good thing to be support supporting. The youth. Um, and also as a final, you can use the coupon code Measure Z still at the Monty Cook Games store for five dollars off. So I love that they use the Measure Z coupon code. That's so right. cool. Um, other announcement: Callisto Six is finally putting out our playlists. Whee! Yes, it's been asked for. Um, we we kind of I, I have to say we kind of agonized over this, <laughs> um, but uh, we finally got our playlists. They are going to be out next week, so keep an eye out for that. Um, they were a lot of fun to put together. I I, I admit that I redid mine about. 30 times. Mm -hmm. Really? I, I would, I, I, I picked my like 10 or 11. Yeah. And then the next morning I woke up and was like, no, I can't start it without. Mm -hmm. and, just, and the next day, same thing over and over. Yeah. Mine was the opposite. I did it in like five minutes and I was like, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yes, yes, you, yes, though. yes. Good. Yeah. Done. I was Email. like, I was like, okay, I can't put into the spider verse on here. Cause I know Hector's doing it. So I got to, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Two songs. <laughs> what's up danger? No, that's on Hector's. Playlist. I know it is. Um, so let's see any other announcements before we get into tonight's game. Yeah. Bonnie looks like they want to make an announcement. I yes, have Bonnie. so many announcements. Okay, so I have two really cool ones. Uh, number one, if you guys have been following my social media, you might have noticed a random wrestling videos and pictures. I can finally announce that I am on, I am training for a new television show. Yup. Uh, and they're just launching the social media now, so if you go to at from glow to flow, you can uh, follow it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, see all the updates where uh, it's gonna be a new wrestling TV show that's that's created by the original guy who created Glow back in the 80s. So hopefully okay. I don't get my wait. And glow up. <laughs> even more exciting of an announcement. Uh, I know a lot of you have been following the D&D in a castle uh, escapades that a lot of these people are going to be a part of. Oh, They're yes. about to announce a new castle a bard castle. 
Oh boy! Can uh, you announce who's in it? Aside I from can you. announce who's yeah, in yeah, it. So good. obviously it's it's Xander and I because uh, it's the Bard Castle, and then we were like, oh goodness, we have world domination now. <laughs> so we are taking <laughs> Miss Gina DeVivo with us. <gasps> oh, yeah! As, as one of our Aliza, <laughs> <laughs> say it. Damn, Gina. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we also have. Uh, oh my gosh. Damn, Gina. We also have Mark Mir Damn coming me. with us. Damn me. Woo! Yeah. Mark and yeah. and uh, Jason Carl. Woo! Oh, I'll make a note. And I love that man. We have a very exciting uh, special celebrity. Oh, we also have Amy Varpel as our as Ooh. another team. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. We have. It's gonna She's be. Good. We're gonna have fun. We have a moat. I don't know what that means, oh my but. God. Ooh. I know what that means. I just don't know if, if <laughs> like, we're allowed to jump in it. It's a castle river. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I'm just, no, no, no. <laughs> I just, you have a moat? We have a moat. Are there alligators in it? Like, well, I will oh let you there know. Will okay. Be. Oh, yeah. And we Musical have a uh, special celebrity guest, Curtis Armstrong, coming <laughs> Wait. to Ooh. play games. Curtis Armstrong? <laughs> yep. You mean... <laughs> Booger from Revenge of the Nerds? That's I awesome. Sure do. Yeah. <laughs> I have a theory that, that Sam cool. Regal is a genetic like personality clone. Like <laughs> that he is like the next generation of Booger. That's right. Because you know in, in Revenge of the Nerds how he had like a sensei that he kind of studied under to become even more just demented. Booger and gross. This makes I, very yeah. perfect sense. Yeah, I feel like yeah. Sam Regal. That's, that's where that great. is. That's Where can my, they find more information theory. about the Bard Castle? Yes, if you go to D Dean at a castle, so our our castle isn't uh, open yet to the public. They're not the tickets aren't on sale yet. But if you join the mailing list to D and D in the castle, you can keep updated on that. I, go uh, I think the other I think your I think the other castles are sold out. Our castle's sold out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if, yep. if you didn't get a ticket and go, oh Dosh Garnet, if only I could be in a castle, you could just come to the Bard Castle. I'm sorry, who just got back from Prague, Eliza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do D and D in a castle. Let the rest of us go to Europe. Yeah, but I know what you did in Prague, and I'm just saying he's damn cool. Um, but yeah, we've been wanting to announce it, and now we finally did. I, I, I forced them to let me say it. So yay! Um, yay. One final announcement, real quick, before we jump into the very last announcement, is that if you, if you guys are chilling on Sunday and you got nothing better to do, I am very happy to announce that I'm going to be able to guest on Saving Throw, Ooh, uh, saving on, throw. on Tempting Fate. Woo! Sunday, uh, we are doing Star Wars, and yes. uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm what really you, looking what forward you to playing? it. I never get to be a player. What are you playing? I'm gonna play a Wookiee. Yes. Oh. Yay. Oh, you're Yay. You're tall yeah. and you got a great head of hair. So thank you. A lot of sense. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love the Wookiees. Yeah. Uh, I can't do right. that. Uh, I think it, that's, a, that's a lot of announcements. I think we're ready to get into tonight's. I'm excited. Oh. 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 I was like, man, I'm just gonna keep going, but I feel like something's missing. <laughs> All right. Well, I think without any further ado, folks, let's jump into tonight's story of Callisto Six. Mayor Kate Galpang expects corporate security forces to disarm by the end of the week. In other news, the Callisto Six were seen in corporate LA today, enacting their plan to reinstall their former enemy, Kylan Krause, to his previous position as head of the most powerful corporation in the city, Pyramid Star Solutions. With the intention of retrieving data from Pyramid Star servers upon arriving in the CEO's office, the trio encountered the four most powerful people in the city, the remaining CEOs of corporate LA. In a tense exchange, Mr. Krause attempted to turn the other CEOs to his side and to aid the Callisto Six against the shadowy arch nemesis, Fletcher Krause. But before all could be resolved, news reports flooded the airwaves showing a prisoner transfer was under attack on the skyways above Los Angeles. The prisoner in question? Dr. Jerome Blair, a minion of Fletcher Krause, with horrific superpowers that make him toxic and deadly to the touch. Now in a bold move, the Callisto Six moved to stop the rescue of Jerome Blair by the mysterious attackers in a perilous high-speed battle above the skies of Los Angeles. This has been your Callisto Six recap. 
I'm Hakeem Safia. Rest easy, Los Angeles. We start tonight's game falling out of the sky. <laughs> Duh, literally. <laughs> that is literally where we are picking up from last week's story. Um, if y'all remember oh, correctly. flight. Um, We've stopped even hanging onto the cliff. Now we're yeah. just falling. <laughs> now you're just falling. <laughs> and are we uh, still you have embraced comments? the cliffhanger. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right now, your ship, named, what is it again, Sam? Amelia. Amelia is in a full-on high-speed nosedive chasing this prisoner transport <laughs> down into the cloud of air traffic that lies below you. And then below that, another 200 feet is a rather literal dead stop on the pavement of the I-10 highway. It's not um, also, without the help of a ship falling out of the sky is Anton and Hops who lost their, <laughs> lost their stability on top of the transport and were knocked, well, Hops was knocked off. And as that happened, Anton bravely threw himself off the top of the transport to hey, go after buddy. Hops. Hashtag no regrets. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna start tonight at the top of the initiative round, which is Eliza. Um, to give you an idea of where we're at right now, it is a stomach dropping dive mm -hmm. as the ship has gone spiraling down. Now, Sam, yeah. Lacey would know that this this transport is not designed to be the Thunderbirds. It's You can do some pretty incredible maneuvers in it, especially with somebody who can literally have this ship respond to their thoughts, but you're not gonna be able to, it pulling up is going to be like trying to stop a bowling ball from leaving your fingers in a flat grip. Like you're going to have to be very careful for how close and how like how close you get to that pavement before you get out of the dive. Thank you for the bowling metaphor. That definitely made it easier for me. No problem. <laughs> um, so uh, right now, right now we have Oya <clears throat> gripping one of the seats, and your feet have left the deck of the ship. Um, I was the, holding onto the mm -hmm. ropes. And, and on one of the ropes. Yeah. Your feet have left the deck of the ship. Um, the other person whose feet have left the deck of the ship, and by the way, who's protecting Lacey from the blast of wind that's racing through that open window, is Luma with a shield press up against it. Eyes kind of squint and close as some of this wind is blasting uh. through. Everyone, <laughs> Lacey, you kind of realize as the ship dives, this, I, I'm assuming this is the first time Lacey's actually done an aerial maneuver where they're going to full dive at top speeds. <laughs> an airship? Okay, so I'll let you decide what Lacey's going through right now, but as you see the horizon dip and then the dead stop below as this bus, this uh, armored transport is plummeting towards the traffic below, there's a moment, Lacey, where it's like, oh! Um, it's just not... like diving in the ocean. <laughs> really, because it doesn't seem like that to me at all. So, at this speed, at this altitude, you have four rounds. Mm -hmm before you guys reach the 10 highway. <clears throat> Perfect. You have two rounds before you have to make a piloting check to dodge traffic. <laughs> oh my God. Because you will literally be plummeting through one of the airwaves during rush hour. Whoa. And so will this armored transport. Right, yep. right now, if you can imagine, Lacey, the maneuverability of, of your transport, she's pretty maneuverable. The thing that you're chasing is a giant school bus in the sky covered in armor. It is a it is an armored transport. It is not designed for these kinds of maneuvers. However, it's armored enough that the vehicle itself might survive impact if it doesn't land on its face. The people inside, difficult to tell. Um, that's the situation. We're starting with Oya. What would you like to do? What can you do? Okay, well, I, I mean, I'm hanging on for dear life mm -hmm. <laughs> in a nosedive. I think the only thing I can do is like prepare for the next round. Yeah. To know what I could maybe help with, because I, I don't know. Lots of hold actions at this point? Yeah. Okay. So instead of hold, I'm not going to hold my action, but I'd like to do anticipation. Okay. Which costs Ooh. one intellect Ooh. point. Okay. And um, you get that for free, don't you? Yes. You have an edge. I do, because I have an edge. All right. So I look ahead to see how my actions might unfold. I have an asset for the first task I perform uh, before the end of the next round. Okay. Nice. So I'll have it. Awesome. It'll give me an asset for next round. Okay. Wow. Um, so I'm thinking that next round i would like to see what happened what would happen if i could <laughs> have two crazy ideas one is crazier than the other okay less crazy one is to just like freeze both ships in free fall 
like maybe create a bubble that encases everyone in it and it's just like frozen in space and time. Mm. That's the one. The, a crazier idea is to... <laughs> like, I, don't know if is. One. I don't know if you're quite at that level yet, but you might. Well, the other one is definitely crazy. Okay, what's the other one? <laughs> it's real, real weird. It's to turn the ground below us, like revert it into a state where it was soft. <gasps> Prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, like the thing is, it. like a mush, like a. Mush. So what this tells me is that when Oya reaches tier five, <laughs> she's going to be unstoppably powerful, uh, like cosmic uh, levels yes. of reality <laughs> manipulation. You are right. Wait, <laughs> I'm on a dinosaur. Yes, exactly. Section of the world. That's exactly back what I was going to say. Hey, we can play predation. <laughs> let's, let's use Oya. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I would <laughs> say, you're, whatever happens, yeah. Oya, you're gonna get your asset bonus. So, okay. you don't have to tell me what you wanna do this round if you don't want to. You can wait until your round comes around, and then whatever you attempt, mm -hmm. you're gonna get that bonus to it. Well, but but I do get, I look ahead to see how my actions go. Okay, um, I would like some insight onto what might happen if I, say, freeze, like try to create a bubble mm. to freeze us in time and space. Dinosaur! Um, stop falling, at least. I want to see a dinosaur do that one. Well, if you were to freeze you guys in times and space, essentially what would happen is is the, the transport would get them. away. Are you, looking to, are you looking to try to freeze the transport in time? Yeah. So I'll tell you now, at your power level, you probably wouldn't be able to pull that off. You might be able to slow their descent. Okay. Um, and sort of create an area around them, which might make it easier for you guys to catch up. Uh, it's not gonna be difficult to catch up to them. They are not, um, as I said, they're not very good at maneuvering. Mm -hmm. um, so you could use that to probably catch up. I might say that if you're willing to burn the intellect points that I can let the ship catch up to them next round. Okay. And, but then to keep in mind from there, you've caught up to them. Then what still, do you do? We're all still falling. Yeah, you're still in a nosedive right yeah. behind them. So what do you do? Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a tricky situation, but so I, I, can't I would stop. But I can at least slow down. Mm -hmm. them. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. you. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. Um, the next up crazy. is uh, like, next up is hops. Oh, me? Hops, you I were it was, flailing. No, nope. oh. you were. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. It's Amy. Yeah, but Cass is number two. So, yeah. Cass, you're actually on top of that transport still. I'm now the only one of us on the transport, right? Yes. yes. And you're the only one left on that transport. And three you, dudes. Have we successfully knocked any two. of them out yet? No, they're still around. Oh. There's two, right? There's two oh. that are visible. There was yeah, one, see. so one there's of them- There's Gunner. The Gunner who's messed up, who's got a yeah. shattered helmet. Yeah. And then there's the other guy. The driver. Um, the driver. <laughs> who I hit, but- Who you hit hard. Helped. Um, and there's a third guy holding Dr. Jerome. So far as, if that's- I can't see. Oh, I don't know that. I'm yeah. on top, damn it. Mm. Yeah. All, all the Anton reported was that he was inside for sure. Yep. Okay. Jerome is in there. Uh, I would have stuck around to report more, but then I had to go save my friend. And then there was also <laughs> the whole facing down the supervillain thing. Okay. One of my favorite scenes from last game, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Zip in. There he is. Zip out. <laughs> now, we. I made my check to not fall off as we started plummeting. That's correct. Uh, does it strike me as a dodge plummet or as a losing control of the ship plummet? Like, can I tell what the pilot was? No, you okay. don't know what the motivation I don't know what's was. Going the on. ship just suddenly. Just all you know is that Hop zapped inside that co inside the like the control or yeah. the, the the driver's seat essentially, and then all of a sudden this thing just did a nosedive. You don't know if the pilot's dead and maybe that's why it's happening, or if they've lost their mind or what's happening. What the what the yep. strategy here is? Okay, so being the only one on the ship, despite my complete lack of qualifications to try to uncrash this thing, I should probably try. Um, okay. So. So I'll, I'll give you this. Because of the incredible descent and the angle that you're at, the dude in this gunnery chair is not going to be able to swivel and try to shoot at you. Great. This guy, um, at least not with the gun that he, the gunning's turret. Now he may be armed, oh. but right now he's gripping a hold of this. Um, you are holding on to the same turret. Is he also like a zombie, or does he look like someone I could talk to? Um, I know his helmet's all cracked. No, no, yeah, the helmet's cracked. Okay, it, can't tell. Mutant. You can't really tell. Oh. Um, Zombie, the word I keep using, but uh, the uh zombies. All right. Reanimated Americans. <laughs> a great album name. <laughs> great album. Um, <laughs> Zombie. Stay the hell there! And I'm gonna try to clamber over uh, and look in the window uh, to see if the, the pilot is there. Uh, you're gonna make a move check with might. This is gonna be might roll. Okay. Um, 
you are plumbing out of the sky at high speed, yep. falling down yep. towards the, I'm gonna set the difficulty for this at six. Okay, um, I have... This would be an athletics check if you've got it. Yeah, I've got movement and acrobatics if you'll take either of those. It's a movement check. You know, I think acrobatics is movement. I, I'm not. I'm, I, the, the thing is, is, is with Cass's strength, I'm not really worried about her ability <clears throat> to hold on. I would, I would totally, I will totally give you acrobatics on this. Your okay. ability to sort of like balance yourself and angle yourself against the wind shear, as well as keep in sort of that that column of of wind that's hitting you right now to not be blown off the back. Yeah, I'll it's give you from my one dex power shift. Uh, <laughs> well, it's coming in handy here. Uh, so that takes it from a five to a four. Okay. It was a six. Y'all, it might not be a great call for me to do this. So it went from a six to a five? Yeah. Uh, no, oh, right. because they, you have a specialization in acrobatics, don't you? Move acrobatics? I've just got the one dex power shift. Uh, oh, it's a dex power shift. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've got yeah, one in climbing, climbing, but. Uh, uh, that would count. I would totally permit that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, so now we're at this a four. Way, I would totally say this is a climb. <laughs> right? Climbing That's down, but the momentum is actually... It yeah. is kind of you to give me both climbing and acrobatics, and I uh, am going to appreciate that for this falling scenario. Uh, <laughs> the okay. falling. So the six is now at a four, which is 12 and above, but like... I would say her glasses are an asset. Could the wind... <laughs> her amazing hairstyle hair, is an asset. Hairstyle, say, the hair hairstyle. tie is an asset. Uh, that hairstyle is an asset on every single role she has ever made. Oh, oh, oh did we add those ties, though? Oh. <laughs> we already established that's an asset. That's that's a strong strong point. Point. Strength the cast ties on that asset. <laughs> yes. I am. It's a might roll. Yeah. I'm gonna add. One level of effort. Although you are using acrobatics. Oh, do you think it should be a speed roll? Well, I'll give you the option. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna be really nice here. That's I'll very give you the nice. option. Yes. Um, and I will take might, uh, because I've got two edge there. She uh. mighty mighty. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. just so that takes okay. it down to a three. <laughs> it's a 50-50 shot. I hope I don't fall off this thing. Okay. Um, but three. Two. All right. You stay the hell there. 13. Yeah. Yes. See, you cussed. I know. Not, yeah. not an accident. That? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so your voice kind of gets lost against the roar of the wind. You think maybe he heard you, but he's also grabbing a hold of this gunnery turret, watching you start. You crawl back. Um, at one point, your grip slips a little bit, but you're able to actually swing your leg down and find a new handhold. You get all the way up to the window of this transport. It's a remarkable thing because, again, if you look up, you're essentially looking at the ground and the oncoming traffic. Um, hanging off the side of this thing, like, you know, a flag being flown out the side of someone's window. Um, as you pull yourself up to the, the window area, you see the driver is very much conscious. He's got his foot jammed on what looks like the controls on, the, uh, on this, on this. It, it's kind of a combination of like, uh, sort of like a cargo aircraft control um, or like maybe a, a passenger control for like an airliner. He's got his foot jammed up against it and pushed all the way forward. So it's doing this dive. And as he's doing this, he's buckled in and you see him loading a gun and he just shoots his, he just kind of his, his eyes dart over, not expecting to see you come through the window. What uh, the hell? That was your move action. You get- a, Yeah, you, I'm just shouting that as a potentially a free shouting. You get a free shouting action. <laughs> Cass takes a shouting action. Yeah. Um, what are you gonna do? Oh, okay. You um, got your move action. Yeah, you probably, uh, in order to do any other thing, uh, I will need to do a movement well, you get, check difficulty four usually. You get your move and your attack. And, and I had you- She does, I usually have to roll for it. She gets it for free without having to roll the move check. Right. She doesn't. She, Wait. Why am I arguing? Can she I? can. She can. So, so hops can move her full movement in a turn oh, okay. and get an action. But that was like a reasonable short move, and you just need. That's to correct. Move. You were not that far Thank from you. the front of the ship, so you can move. I, I, I had you roll, but I'm not taking. I'm not subtracting how far you moved in that round. You just yep. get up there. So I'll let you have an attack on this guy if you want. Great. How do I clock him? Just punch him through the window. I mean, that's the plan. How difficult is it? Oh, the difficulty. That's what you're asking for. I'm like, oh, no, Cass, just hit him. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know these things. <laughs> you're going to hit him no matter what. Uh, you know I that. like your thinking. Flavor, flavor. <laughs> uh, uh, I okay. would like to swing on the edge and come boot first. Well, <gasps> okay, so you're going to pull yourself yeah, through the window? 
That's pretty cool. <laughs> give him the boot. Um, I'm gonna give you a plus I feel like one. Hops is alive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a plus one to your roll. Oh, thank you. Ooh. That's, Ooh. Any, anytime you guys get descriptive like that, I want to reward mm-hmm. it. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. So the difficulty to hit this guy. Yeah. Um. Well, normally it's six. Okay. But he is sitting quite still in a passenger seat, so I'm gonna drop it by two. Uh, assets, yeah. Um, and am I still encouraged, or was that a one round thing? One round thing. Okay. So difficulty is four minus whatever, however you drop that. Um, I drop it. it. Oh, I maintain it. Yeah. While, okay. while you maintain it through ongoing inspiring narration. So as long as you're talking in our comms. I am still on comms. <laughs> what do I do? Thankfully, you can Take hear, him! Get it! Thankfully, you can still hear Luma going, oh my god, in your comm unit, and you are inspired, so. Okay, that takes it to a three, and I believe uh, I... Bash. Is it heavy bashing with my boots? With your boots? Yeah. The are you, thighs are you are I guess they're unarmed, so it's the same. Um, yeah. No, you, yeah. The that, thighs are an asset. As Sotsumo Oshima would say, that you, drops any it part to of the two. Uh, oh my god. And. And you have a plus one. Oh, cool. And I'm gonna have a plus one, so I need a five or better. We got a 25% check back up, or 75%. 12! 12! <clears throat> yeah! How much Sorry. damage? That was a lot of talking. Um, that, that is gonna be the standard, I think, 11 damage. My god. <laughs> Uh, Cass, you practically take his head off. He'd already suffered damage from hops, and when your boots come through the window, again, defying physics with your strength and this downward dive, you're swinging through a window at a parallel angle, smashing through the side. This guy's head just cracks off to the side. Doesn't die, of course, because you didn't tell me you were going to kill him, Thanks. but he immediately, hey. you hear this popping sound as the, his tactical helmet shatters on your boots. But also, you um, all let us know that they, right? Somebody said over comms that they're monsters. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. I, like yeah I believe it was Anton, actually. Anton, yeah, thank you. Um, had have been. Smashing through, you enter the truck itself. You basically end up landing kind of in this balled up chaotic position and then go slamming back up against the ceiling of this thing immediately. Um, this guy is done. <clears throat> he is out. You just clocked him into oblivion. He is no more. Um, Thanks for the set. He slumps. He's kind of just like swaying as you guys are plumbing out of the sky. His gun goes hurtling into the back of the truck, into the transport. Um, that's you. Next up is now we're at Bonnie. So Cass took out the windshield. Hops, ha, payback. Hops, you are <laughs> you are flailing. You know that that terrifying scene in X Men Two yep. where Rogue got sucked out of the back of the Blackbird. Oh, yeah. It's kind of the same chaos chaos all around you. You're just the roaring of the wind. You're you're you have no control of your fall right now. Okay. Um, all you see is an orange reddish blur. And uh, the glint of the sun catching Anton's glasses as he basically is nose diving straight towards you. Um, you have an action. You really can't physically do anything unless say, you is there can get something. Anything metal, uh, like that I can feel. In about like, two or, rounds, the there's the possibility of metal. Because <laughs> I was like, because I was saying, if I could use my electrical charge to almost make myself like a magnet and like push. Mm. No. No, your electricity wouldn't. It would have required a wire, like a steel cable, to wrap. We weren't talking about that on the side of the table at all. <laughs> uh, what about my bolt rider, no, moving a long distance from a location to another almost instantaneously by a bolt of light? A long distance? Mm-hmm. Yep, you can move a long distance from one location to another, uh, really? carried by a, lo- a bolt of lightning. That's how I got to the ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. Uh, you must be able to see the new location. Hundred feet, you, if you wanted to. If you wanted to, Hops, yeah. you could teleport right back on top of that transport. So, so if or I do this, you could teleport back on to, uh, into their ship. If I do this, though, I have to use four intellect points, and I would be down to two intellect. Points. I have a neurosimulator for you. Just don't die or anything. <laughs> like, huh, I feel. Oh, okay. you can heal you. Basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, I said go for it. I have a feeling if I'm in a, that panic mode, uh, just kind of like how I. I automatically did it onto the ship without even realizing I could do it. Uh, I think that that would be my first. I would probably look back up, you know, past Anton and see the ship, and without even thinking it, all of a sudden be back on top. They're literally about to pass you guys. Oh. You kind of glance off to the side, spend your four intellect points. Where are you going? You can you can instantly teleport a hundred feet. Uh, I think I'm going back to the ship that I fell off of because the I, I immediately <laughs> just think if Anton's falling behind me. Mm-hmm. Um, Passes on the ship by yourself, is what I'm thinking. That's correct. With a bunch so, of mutant zombies. With four intellect points spent, yes. they're only about 80 feet away from you guys right now. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you can pretty much appear wherever you want that you can see. So you could appear in can, front of the windshield. Can I see the beach? So let me let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. Wherever you appear is going to require an immediate physical check to stay there. Okay. Because it's falling out of the sky. So just be aware of that. Okay. We can see the, so yeah, where would gone. you like to appear? Yeah. Back onto the ship that uh, Cass is on, the but, enemy but, ship. Yeah, yeah. Where? Where oh. on that ship? Because um, keep in mind, wherever you appear... I have to see it, so it has to be on the top where the the guy with the gun is. Well, no, they're they're about to pass you guys. Oh. Um. So. Francine. Actually, they would be yeah. they would be probably passing y'all right about now. Can if, you fly a plane? Because they their nosedive is what caused you guys to fall off, and then they're accelerating past you. So you can actually now that I'm getting now that I'm remembering this. So that's what caused you guys to fall off. So they've actually passed you. They're down below you guys. Sorry. Let me restructure that scene. Okay. Because their nosedive is what caused you guys to fly off. Right. So they're down below you guys right now. Okay. So you can see the top of this transport. You can see the top of uh, your transport. <laughs> um, you don't really have visuals on the front. Right. And so again, like wherever you appear, it's going to keep going the moment you appear there. So take you'll me, have an action. Take me to the take me to the top. All right. Spin the spin the four intellect I points. Did. She did. Um, all right. So Anton, I've got you, Hops. <laughs> There's a thunderous crack, and she's gone. And I'm sailing through the air by myself. Yeah, it's nice and quiet suddenly. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> cut, to, cut to hops. You turn into a bolt of energy and just um, There's again, another black, you all see this brilliant flash as once again, hops appears on top of this transport in front of y'all. And once again, um, I say, what the shit? Uh, make an immediate athletics check. No. Okay, How, what's the difficulty? Come on, girl. Come uh, on. Difficulty is six. You got okay. I would like to use. You can use move here. Yep, movement. Uh, that goes to a five. And I will let you use speed if you want. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, and I also have endurance. That any duration dealing with a physical action is that would be to or... hold on, not to grab. Okay, got it. Yep. Okay, okay. So we're at a five. You need to roll a 15 or better. Oh no, I'm I'm spinning a, a <laughs> lot of stuff over here. Let's see okay. what I can do. Let's so see this transport, it looks like this transport is probably used to having security on top of it as it moves 15. for like high, mm-hmm. those, right. those really high secure situations with uh, where it needs guards. There are handholds and places to walk on the on top of this thing. Can I use my staff as an asset if I was able to get it into the 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 yes the thing and like yes. So maybe yeah. like in the gunnery turret, right? Yeah. To the guy That's who what, just told us to. Basically, I, I, I yes. stick that in there and as a as a handheld. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do that. So that'll lower it. What one? That's a nice four. creative idea. Yeah. I'll get you uh, one more. Okay, so it's down to a ask. four. Twelve or better. And now I'm gonna spin some speed. How quickly Hops moves to get that staff into that gunnery turret before she so loses control. Only two. So that lowers it to a three. Uh-huh. Right? right. Nine or better. Oh God. Okay. You can do this. Best of luck. Thanks. Okay. I didn't actually say that. I'm falling. Eleven. Yay! <laughs> you appear and slam the staff down almost the moment you arrive. It's almost the same action. Um, the guy in the turret narrowly misses him, and he just kind of jumps back. He was pulling a gun to shoot at Cass when Cass disappeared inside, mm-hmm. and now he's staring at you with the staff. Unfortunately for him, he is in striking distance for you. Yeah. And he let um, go. What's that? Did he let go? Of the, his gun? Well. No, I mean, if he was holding onto the turret. Here's a question. No, he didn't let oh. go. I mean, he's, he's, we remember, just he's like, he's waist up on the oh. So he's right? actually pretty I love secure. It. So um, if, if I'm using, if I am the bolt of lightning right now and I just arrived with my staff in there, could I technically, if it's in the turret, can it technically also count as a shock charge to everything that's within if the- If you had rolled a 20 on that check, oh. I would have let that happen. Okay. Or if you rolled like a, a minor effect, I might have let that happen. Okay. Um, That's cool. So next up is actually it's <laughs> Anton. So Anton, as you're going, wait, what the heck? I need you to make a might defense roll difficulty uh, of, let's see. I would say difficulty of four. And um, anything you have for like resilience or resisting damage would totally apply here. I have, uh, I'm trained in defense tasks. Now it wouldn't work. Uh, I'm, I'm, 
Mm. Let me let's make this easy. Speed what's, defense tasks. What's your armor, and do you take do you soak damage from like physical hits? That's a great question. What is my armor? Um, that's a really good question. I'm I think you have an automatic armor of one, but I, I'm wondering if your elasticity gives you. Do you t did you take power shifts and like resilience? Or anything like that? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, He's really great at trivia. <laughs> yeah, I took power shifts in, in stupid shit. So I'm gonna go with no, no okay. to that. So okay. Armor of one. Oh armor of one? Yes. Okay, well, I'm only, I was only going to, let me, hold on one sec, let me check. What's this might for, wind resistance? This is actually falling damage. I'm a stretchy, squishy You know what, boy. I'll give this to you. <laughs> um, so make the roll and I'll give you, and cause you were, you were whole, you were planning on basically pulling a, an elastic girl and just going, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so oh, go yeah. ahead and, and you, if you want to do that now, and otherwise I can, you're just going to plummet. And I can pull something from my might to, to help this, or it's just a you can, might Yeah, defense. might would be good. So here's what you see, that, that the reason why I'm giving you this, yeah. is as you're falling, underneath you, long, long, just moments after <laughs> it hops disappears, underneath you, appearing out of thin air, mm. decloaking, is a very familiar car that's what? flying right underneath you. It just goes, Whoa. and okay. the door is opening and you see a very familiar face looking out, kind of looking up at you as you're falling out of the sky. Hey, I know that face. You're headed straight towards it. Uh, I know if, that handsome uh, guy. Mark wants to jump in here, we could certainly use some <laughs> oh, the deathless. Please. <laughs> um, Hello. 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 <laughs> we could use your help if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be a sticky situation. <laughs> it's funny. So, Anton, classic pick. That car. You, if you want to inflate and then make the roll, it's uh, so the difficulty. I what did I set it at four? Four. So if you want to, yeah. I knocked it down to three. Okay. With some might, and uh, so I got to roll a nine or better. Okay. Make your roll. Ooh, oh, it's a seven. Ooh, I, I splat. My fingers inside. Well, you want me to re-roll it? Wait, don't you have? Inspiration from? I think that's for attacks. I don't know. I didn't. No, I didn't. you yeah, do. Yeah, good. that's an attack. Oh, it's um, for attacks. Uh, yeah. Well, then okay. I guess no. Wait, you had to give so much of your XP the last game. I didn't have to. Wait, you did though. Are you though. using it? Yeah, for Is you. Is this official? That's official. <laughs> Eric, this Reroll. is official. Uh, Reroll. Okay, here we go. Right. Nine, nine or better. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Lucky number. Uh, so you're gonna take a point of damage. Okay. And you Where's collide with to? the top of this car that right. just decloaks. Just <laughs> Kochi, okay. you catch him. He just, he, you see him kind of inflate <laughs> into this like, <laughs> what are they called again? Parachutes? Oh. Yeah. Phalange? Uh, what is oh, this? Fatagium. Fatagium. Oh. Pa Fatagium? Placenta. 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 <laughs> you are like a big flying squirrel. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hi. Kochi, hi. Thanks for catching me. Yeah. Good to see you, Anton. Very good to see you. I almost died. Thank you. Yes, my friends. We need to help my friends. Yes. Yes, I remember your friends. You're so calm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I thought I was calm. Nah. How you get in this situation? <laughs> it's a pickle, man. It's the whole thing. <laughs> just Let us save them first. Then yes. we will talk. Fly that way. Do you just get in the car then, I take it? Yeah. <laughs> Gumby oh. yourself into the car? It's so <laughs> nice in here. It's, it's just, The seats are warm. And oh, yes. It's a uh, fine Corinthian leather. Oh, my gosh. And then... <laughs> you Whoa! guys nose dive. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. I would say uh, let's go ahead and at that point, just to see where you jump in on the initiative, Kachi, I'm going to say make a... This is an initiative check, so it's a speed check, so you just roll a d20. D20. Um, and the difficulty here, well, actually, just tell me what you get. I get 14. 14, okay. So what I'm gonna do yeah, is I'm going to do this. Oh, yes, and also I have uh, training in initiative. Oh, okay, so you're- I have pretty... one X in initiative. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put you- mm. That beats them. I'm gonna put you at the initiative order the same, you're gonna be going the same round as the bad guys. We're at five, so you're gonna be going right before, uh, technically right before Lacey and Luma. Um, so you are diving through the sky, so... Um, do you have a driving skill or like a piloting check or anything like that? I have no driving skill, but the car takes care of its own business sometimes. I would say the car is definitely an asset, yeah. So tell you what, um, I would say make a difficulty, let's see, 
<coughs> this is actually pretty simple right now. So make a difficulty three roll, car is an asset, so it's difficulty two. And so you need a six or better on a d20. Six or better, mm -hmm. okay. Let us hope we can do that. It is a nine. Yes. Okay, so you, you basically fall in line behind uh, the Callisto yes. 6 transport that is also diving after this. So three vehicles plunging out of the sky towards the LA traffic. Fuck. And the car is decloaked right now. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, and that's just an action if you ever want to cloak it again. Very well. Um, so that means we are going to their action now. Oh, yeah. um, the So their action is... This is going to be rough. I just need get you it over with, Eric. We don't care. Just right, shoot fine. me already. We care. <laughs> shoot me already. Uh, we need. I need Cass to make a speed defense check. <laughs> However, you are going to get a plus two because you were in the front seat of this armored car being shot at. So you don't. They don't have a clear line of sight on you. Great. So get uh, a plus two because you got partial cover here. Plus two as in physically add math, not physically. Um, so it's going to be a subtraction to the difficulty. So the difficulty Great. is going to be it was six and uh -huh. it is now going to fall down to four. Mm -hmm. Um, so make a speed defense check. All right, so I'm specialized in uh, speed defense, or rather I have one training and one power shift, uh, which makes it a two. Oh, two. Okay. Let's oop, take our chances. Doesn't count, doesn't count. 18! Yes. Okay, yeah. um, you get a minor effect. Yes. On a if, great. On a, on, a, on a defense roll, you can take a minor defect, uh, effect on an 18. So, um, and this might be something as simple as like, uh, what could I, what could you do? So like as a minor effect, let me give you some examples of what you might be able to do. For a minor effect action, you could do something like ignore armor strike. This is for combat. Yeah. Um, how about, uh, you could, I would actually, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, I, uh, you could use this as an action to get closer to them in the back, or if you could put your, as a minor effect, you could, I would say you jump to the next seat if you wanted to get in the driver's seat and stop the plummet. So on your next action, you'd already be set up to do that if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, if I, I, I dodge the rest of the way in uh, and end up landing where I need to, to for the next action? Uh, desperately appeal for help. Okay, mm -hmm. so you take a quick glance at what's happening. The people in the back of this truck, there's more than there's more than a few of them here. Oh, yes. um, there is about three other people in the back of this truck, and that's not counting Jerome, who looks like he has got chains around his arms. He has chains around his legs that have been unclasped, but he's got these chains around his arms wrapped around something. It looks like one of the, the bars that was holding him, the, his cage in the back closed, essentially, this tech cage one of these big metal pillars that activates a force field. He's got himself wrapped around it. The other people in the back are actually standing in this. It looks like you can tell just from a glance that they're not wearing normal boots and you can see them standing, although they are kind of leaning back and one of them has a gun and is open fired on you. You manage to leap to the other seat and there's this hideous popping hissing sound of these plasma bolts smashing into the leather. But the leather itself, it's an armored transport for, uh, for prisoners. <laughs> Everything in this vehicle is set for the contingencies, so nothing passes through the seat. It just impacts on the Whoa, back of the armor-resistant seats, and the smell of burning leather immediately erupts inside of this wind tunnel. Um, you jump to the other side of the of the of the into the pilot seat, essentially, um, kind of knocking this this unconscious form off to the side, um, squeezing in underneath. You can actually next action you'll be able to grab that stick and actually level off the descent. We're <laughs> we're just gonna be, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yes, you count two. There are three other, not, oh, actually there's four. There's one, the guy in the gunnery turret who's still up there. Um, and then Jerome, who is staring at you. He doesn't say anything. And that's their attack on you. The other guys actually are not taking an attack action this round. It looks like they're trying to get to Jerome and unclasp him. Mm. And it also looks like they have an extra pair of boots on him. Mm. That they're trying to, to looks like they're in the middle of trying to rescue him, essentially. It's clear that only one opening fire on you where their priority is. Are there dead bodies in here from the people who yes. were originally 
driving the ship. Yes, just and, and and just so you know, Cass, um, they look like they were probably security or law enforcement. Mm -hmm. You're not sure if they're dead. They're certainly unconscious, but what's really brutal about it is they're currently just flying into the back of this unconsciously. Ugh. Some of them are up against the back, but you see about four of what looks like officers. Yeah. They don't look like they're dead. It looks like they've all been rendered unconscious or perhaps worse, maybe poisoned. Mm -hmm. But they're all unconscious and they're all kind of plastered everywhere on the back of the bus. Um, so that's, that's a priority for after the crashing part. <laughs> <laughs> that's their action. Next up is, I do believe, Luma. Me? What's that? Who's next? Was you for next? Oh, sorry. Lacey is six, and I can't read my own writing. I, I thought it was an eight. That's yes. okay. It's you, Lacey. Not the guy in the like, turret with me, right? He didn't he's do anything. He's just clinging in the squish He's clinging. List. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. I'm really a 10. Oh! Uh, so that was that was really cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to Rage. just check. I mean, <laughs> it's a day ending in wire, uh, but Lacey is going to co use coaxing power. Okay. Uh, to get Amelia, like, to operate at a more fine-tuned and maximum potential. Um, that was the one I was telling you, uh, boost the power function of a uh, machine. Mm -hmm. So it operates one level higher than normal for an hour. Basically, I'm trying to- You're giving her a shot of, of adrenaline. By time and <clears throat> uh, maneuvering capability to get into position with respect to the other car so that maybe we can work out like a Santa sleigh kind of thing. Okay. Like figure out, like basically, be able to use Amelia as a maneuvering I need, device. I need, are you trying to get ahead of them? Uh, Is that Santa's sleigh kind of thing? You know, it, if I can, yes. Uh, yeah, because that's just activating the engine. We're already going down, so I just have to go down faster than falling from ground. You are going to, juicing juicing Amelia, you're definitely going to pass them up. Mm -hmm. You're giving it, a, you're, you're hitting the nitro button with your mind, yes, basically. I am. <laughs> so I need Luma and I need Oya to make an athletics roll here. Okay. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> yes. Do they get an asset from being strapped in? Um, you're definitely going to get assets, yes, because you are, you are secured. Um, <laughs> Some more than others, but I think you're, if I remember correctly, you're nice and you're, you were all given warning to grab hold of something. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and I'll give you, you an answer. You declared multiple seatbelts. Mm -hmm. I, 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 multiple seatbelts. <laughs> um, so the difficulty on this uh, is going to be five. Okay. With an asset that's going to immediately drop it down to four, four. so it's difficult. This is might, you said? This will be a might roll, yeah. Okay. This is literally uh, holding so on for four. dear life. I don't think I have any. It's worth it. What, 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 what? Oh, you were looking at the pool. Can yeah. I like, it's worth it. It's not, not worth it. You can spend it. might. Yeah, I'd like yeah, to spend might. Yeah, I'm also gonna spend it. Um, just so you know though, it, it might not actually be worth it because okay. this is literally just to shrug off might damage and you oh. might be spending more than you're gonna take. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I didn't this know not... if I was gonna get sucked out the window. No, yeah. no, no, y'all are latched. Okay. 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 I'm not no. We don't have you. a weight field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although the, it is worth noting the ramp is still down in the back. So if you- So there are many oh, windows like we could fly out of. Yes. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> But Falling the one in the back is the one you, you kind of have to worry about. Really? Not that you're in danger of that. I'm actually worried if I fall. This is just for damage. I'm in that shipping. Yes. Yes. I hope everyone's alive right now. It's not gonna be a lot of damage. Okay. No, but in a long scene like this, so it all adds up. Four? Difficulty's four. You might have heard me scream, what the shit? Again. What was, oh, uh, dang. 11. 10. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so you're both gonna take uh, two points of my damage. Okay. That's less than if you said. That's less. Now it would've been left as if you. So we're like, oh. Yeah. So essentially, it's like, it's little things like the straps holding you in, digging deep into your torso and causing rib pain. It's the impact of like your head sort of bumping into something. This ship I'm also just goes- I'm still doing this. Yeah, after, I'm yeah. The arm against, oh man, I imagine yeah, this is arm, just like, now. Yeah, the, the <laughs> wind, your arm is like trembling from the sheer power of the yeah, wind right, blasting that's through. Yeah, um, that's strong. That's Cass's job. So there's an explosion of heat in the back and <laughs> the ship goes <laughs> and accelerates. You guys are pulling heavy Gs right now. Uh, Lacey, a wave of dizziness washes over you and everybody else. You're maintaining. I'm not gonna penalize anybody, but you can't do this for more than one round or you're gonna be in trouble. Um, I will say this, you hear immediately erupting in your mind, Operator Lacey, other vehicle detected closing in. <coughs> Operator Lacey, vehicle exceeding standard protocol limits of power, 120%. Thank you 
for the update, sweet baby. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna try to get into position and maneuver alongside those vehicles, so track their position. You guys just pull ahead. Coach, you're watching the ship do crazy maneuver. It's literally like watching an F-14 go into afterburn. It just explosion comes out the back as this ship rockets ahead. You can feel, Lacey, the ship, the tech, everything is very alive suddenly. The machine is operating at 120% efficiency, but you can also kind of hear the wings start to make groaning sounds as you guys race past this transport. Um, as you have slid into the seat cast, you're kind of, ah, the wind blasting past you, and you glance over and you watch Amelia. <laughs> you see the glowing shield of Luma's uh, arm up in this, up in the broken window as this transport, which should not be able to do what it's doing, race past you guys and start getting in front. Um, there's a blast of searing heat coming through the window as the afterburners um, pass right close to the... I spend my next action being impressed. Okay. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to now bump that up. You have one round before you hit traffic. <coughs> as y'all accelerate right past this thing. Um, right. So on your next action, um, thankfully, Oya, you know exactly where the cars are going to be. As y'all are racing past you, looking at that at that oh. your time travel, you looking up ahead, you begin to see a blurring of all the traffic in front of you, and you begin to see different possibilities. People making turns, cool. changing lanes. No one has any idea of what's coming above them, <laughs> racing down towards them. You see a moment in time where someone is changing lanes, and someone else also changing into the left lane creates an opening at just the right moment for us to crash and die for you to pass through traffic and not die oh, okay. by colliding into a car like that, that they're I flying think. cars you basically you is basically this, see oh, a this, moment we're not at the ground yet what's that we're not at the ground yet this is the air highway oh. and then yeah. if we make it through that then we it have going to be then we have the ground. two Got more it. rounds until Got you it. hit traffic except for with the acceleration now it's a round okay and oh i see yeah i, I missed now you're okay. yeah and so you you've accelerated past um okay so that's going to be lacy's action so now we're at luma well, I imagine I have no possible way of moving from my particular location. I have no interest in moving my, from my particular location. I'm providing the windshield for my friends. So um, I'm going to maintain my orientation, my, my inspiration. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, but <clears throat> I'm gonna spend the intellect point to um, to say, hey, what's up to Koshchi? <laughs> um, to bring him in on this. <laughs> you hear a familiar voice uh, coming through. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, hey, Anton, uh, tell Koshchi, we're really good to, glad to see him. Well, it's uh, to Luma. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Lacey, you, say <laughs> you found some like hot tamales, just yeah, like candy uh, like, underneath the seat. I'm eating a snack. Like... I definitely am. It's uh, um, I almost just died. <laughs> this is like a really nice lift. <laughs> Luma, Luma is even on sub sub vocals really aren't helping here. Luma's literally shouting over the roar of wind, and it kind of comes through. But being the tech is good, you can actually make out the articulation of the voice. It's picking up what she's saying, but you hear that shouting over the over over the comms. It is very polite of her to say hello. <laughs> Keep driving, man. Keep driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. <laughs> driving is doing most of the work. Um, she just used a power called encouragement, which means yeah. when you make an attack roll, it's about to be a little bit easier. Are you maintaining oh. encouragement on attack, or are you switching it to something else? Um, I'm going to keep on attack since um, there's still some baddies for Cass and, and Hops to have to deal with. So just so you know, unless Cass is able to level that transport off, there's probably not. We're dead. There's probably. Oh, she can't. There's probably not, it, she can't attack while in there. There's probably not gonna be a lot of She's combat. She's gonna be Cass. It'll be mostly dodging. <laughs> On the other oh. hand, Cass, Cass is going to be up as number two when the initiative round resets. Mm -hmm. So if she manages to stabilize that transport, she'll be in for a fight. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. How so, and me, but, but I don't. But it all. I'm just trying to give you so you can make an informed decision. But whatever you choose. <laughs> If you wanted to do an attack, if, if she levels that thing attack off. At us, because we can't attack back. Yeah, can you encourage defense? Mm -hmm. you can yeah, I can encourage over defense attack. Uh, oh, cool. You can encourage yeah, atta uh, defense attacks, or so. defense tasks, attack tasks, or tasks related to skills that I'm trained in. Well, but. Uh, so maybe, maybe let me give you this then. Yeah. And, and whatever you do might be the right decision. I have no idea, because I don't know what 
the results of the I roll's gonna be. I don't know. But right now, what Luma does know is that Cass is in there and that thing is diving. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. No one's really attacking right now. And I know Hops is on it too now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I know you're on the top, actually. I'll switch it to defense. Okay. That makes that, yeah, because you you just flew off of it already, so. <laughs> I sure did. All right. But it doesn't help me personally, but yes. It will. Yeah, we gotta get oh, I know it, that earpiece. I we are didn't going hear it. to get oh, yeah. right. an earpiece. I feel like every time I use my powers, it's going to be embedded into my body. That's with a problem electrical... for future us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you. But with our help, I anyway. Okay. Hmm. All right. So you encourage everybody. We're going to start the initiative round over. So now we're going back to Aliza. Aliza, at the end of this round, you guys are hitting traffic. <gasps> um, you've got your asset. Oh, yeah. Okay. Defense for so sure. So you can actually. Yeah. You, as an action, you can actually, you can give, what you can do is hold your action and use that as an assist for Lacey nice. on a piloting check. Um, and then I'll let you, I'll let you have an assist and because you use a power, I'll let you use your precog ability to give Lacey a further asset. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so that's gonna be Oya's ability. Next up is Cass. What do I do? Can I? Is this an obvious, like, I've played video games? Pull up, pull up, pull up, joystick. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think Cass has seen a movie. I yep. think Cass has probably seen a video game. We're just going to guess that this is the right direction. Inverted controls. You Let's pull go. pull it back. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. You're in the seat. You don't have piloting. Nope. Um, but you have a lacy. I don't think this would Lazy's be a check. Busy. I think this is literally just pulling back the stick. And, and yeah. with the stabilizers that are still fully functional on board this transport, it literally just pulls back. So you grab this stick and just mm, pull it out. You all watch. Um, behind you, you see the transport immediately just begin to level off. Hops, you feel your stomach sink suddenly as, again, the horizon just comes up to an eye line. Uh -huh. And whoosh, the entire transport levels off. You guys are still moving forward, however. I throw up a little bit in my mouth, but I, I caught it. Um, the guy in the turret, you see him kind of lurch forward, um, manages to hold on to his gun, but he's getting tossed around like a rag doll. Um, as y'all level off, um, you manage to level off just above the city traffic. So I'm gonna let you be able to take a, a, a delayed action if you want to do that, because now you're not gonna hit traffic with Amy pulling it out. Okay. Uh, and basically stopping you guys from hitting that that line of traffic. Um, so uh, you managed to stop the descent. That's one action. I'm gonna say that's a pretty minor action. You can hear movement in the back of everyone recovering. <laughs> um, what would you like to do, Cass? You're still rocketing forward at high speeds. Uh... You've left the skyline. And by the way, in front of you, and probably about, I would say maybe in about five five turns, are the mega skyscrapers of downtown La town, oh downtown gosh. Los Angeles, and then just behind them, the towering spires of corporate LA. All right, um, I just, I'm pretty focused on this. I've definitely never emergency steered a transport out of an air highway before. I'm um, sorry, but five, did I say 10? Five, you said five. Five, five. okay, yeah. cool. Uh, sure. So can I, with one hand still on the wheel, kind of reach over, Sorry in advance, this is kind of grisly. And take the unconscious guy and fling him behind me and just hope to knock over Jerome or anyone else who's standing. He's buckled in. However, oh. Cass uh, probably <laughs> can tear somebody out Last of the safety buckle. Yeah. Um, it's I not... grab for the shirt with the buckle on it and simultaneously, in theory, rip like the buckles ex... off and throw the body. Okay, cool. So I would say make a strength check. <laughs> um, it's a blind, It's this is sort of like a blind throw. You're not really following it's where like you're bowling doing it. Ball. So I you're bowling. I, I mean, all I can do is dis distract and knock them over. Whatever happens. I'm going to set the difficulty of this. I'm going to set it seven. Okay. Uh, you're tearing this guy out of a safety harness and hurling him back over your head. Can you, can you explain it in a bowling metaphor, though, so that we can understand it? Uh, I actually don't know bowling that well. I was literally just pulling meta. I was literally just gotcha. pulling out language. That's fair. Had. That's fair. You okay. put ball there, knock okay. things over. I'm a strike. Okay. Is what's gonna happen. The follow up uh, on this one. I, We're gonna spare. There's probably a few already knocked down. Yeah, Bowling is so much yeah. fun. Get uh, out of here, turkey. <laughs> I do have two power shifts in strength tasks, so thank you for saying strength roll. Yeah, uh, definitely. So seven, six, five, so it drops to five. Yeah. Here we and go. And I... Your dumpster, you tore a incubation chamber out of the ground and threw it. God, Very no. large statue. No yes. other assets that help here. Uh, this might 
Just your arms. Not work. I mean, your hands. Throw them with your thighs. <laughs> one point to take it down one more. So at least now it's 12 or above. Not great odds. Let's do okay. it. Um, Here we go, everybody. Get your experience ready. 13! <laughs> Okay, not gonna hit anybody. However, <laughs> you there is a very audible tearing sound as you grab this guy. Most of his tactical vest gets ripped in the process. You break his body free of the safety harness. There's that p a puff cloud of foam and leather as you rip the tactical seat apart. Um, ripping him out of the seat, you just hurl him, pick him up, and hurl him back over your shoulder sending pieces of buckle and seat with him. And you're not sure, you're pretty sure you didn't hear anybody because you hear a loud metallic thong in the back as the body impacts with the back of the transport. I'm hoping it's at least distracting. You do hear Jerome go, shit. <laughs> right, he pooped Get his pants. Right. <laughs> He remembers. And we're back oh, he remembers. <laughs> Jerome remembers you ripping out that entire pod and throwing it at him. <laughs> uh, just so the, the seat like that. that you're sitting in right now is decimated and still sittable, but destroyed mostly. And you're going to slide back comfortably now. No safety harness to speak of in the pilot seat now, so don't dive anymore. <laughs> um, and that was your action. Uh, next up, we have uh, that's going to be three, that's going to be hops. Um, okay. You've got an action on this guy. He looks like he's recovering from the fall, from the from the dive. What would you like to do? Here's a question. I know Jerome and people are in there, and I heard the shots at Cass from inside, uh -huh. I'm assuming. Is there, in the turret, is there any way to get in there from there? From the turret? Mm -hmm. Yes, but this guy's in the way. That's hmm. a problem that could be solved with hops. Right, because I'm thinking, because I can't use fast. To just kind of like you can't get past him. He okay. is in. He's literally. He is occupying the entire space of the turret. Okay, I'm gonna try and get him out of the way. Or can I? Or can I just not do that at all and slide into the passenger seat, like uh, on the side, if I can maneuver? It'll be. It'll be an. It'll be like a move check. Right. Because, but but um, it won't be anywhere near as hard as it's been because you guys aren't falling out of the sky. And it wouldn't take my my attack action because I am allowed to move a short distance and yes. take another action. I would say you're room. roughly 10 feet away from the car. I'm going to try that. Because, okay. yeah, because I feel like we should take care. I, I, I'm assuming I heard shots and everything. So and you're going to try to get inside as I'm well? I'm going to try and like do a cool acrobatic. I'm going to try and pull a cast and, and kick my way into the passenger seat so I can try and take care of some people in the back. Okay, so this is going to be a move check. Yep. If you have acrobatics, it's what I have acrobatics. Play. I, yes, I okay. have movement. Uh, difficulty here is going to be, uh, let's set it at four. Okay. So. Lowers it to three. Three. Nine. Uh, would I be able to use speed? This? As your. Or well, might. Or it would be it's might a speed check. Speed check. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that to make it lower it down to three. No. Yes. You have power shifts that help here? You're already at three. Oh, then at two. Then. You're at two. I mean, speed defense doesn't help. Okay, make the roll. Movement, two. movement, acrobatics. I think it's all the same thing. Dexterity. Difficult, uh, difficulty two. Wait. There's a back of the paper. There's some. There's <laughs> yeah. back. I have a, a thing called hand to eye, which its ability provides an asset to any task involving manual dexterity, which includes agility. Um, okay. Different like that, and that would lower it. To one. To one. You need three better. Can I keep a roll that landed on the ground? Because it was cannot. a 19. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been nice. <laughs> a good thing we lowered it. I made it. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, so like a five? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a five. Wow. So just moments after you've thrown this guy into the back of the truck, Hops comes sliding through the window. You're now in Cass's lap. Yeah. Hey! You just come sliding in. Hey. Just kind of like sit there for a second. You guys are making eye contact a few feet away from each other's faces. Um, Thank God you're okay. <laughs> Can you fly a ship? Uh, not well. That's all right. All the, I'll keep going. That's, that's literally all the conversation you're gonna have. To yeah, right. As we move on yeah, to the next one. Because I still have my action, right? Uh, your move oh, action. Yes, you yes, have an sorry. attack action now. Correct. Um, you gonna attack Cass? No. <gasps> oh. No, I'm. I'm. Gonna, oh my God. I'm sliding in the back. I'm gonna hold my breath. Um, so off. from where you are, you're not going to be able to. Uh, I can attack shock. Anybody. Oh yeah, can, you yeah, can move. That's real long. Yeah, that's true. You can do a shock power. Okay. So there's there are so there's the guy the, the lower half of the body of the guy who's in the turret, well, and then there are four other people, three other people rather, uh, that are in the back, and then there's Jerome. Oh, okay. 
who's getting up to his feet. Shakama. There's also multiple unconscious people in the back of the train. I'm gonna, um, okay, I'm gonna turn to Cass and say, hold on to the leather. The leather, the seat, yeah. I'm still That's holding it. on to the thing you drive a ship with, but also the seat. Mm. Oh, okay. Yoke. For, well, I, can I give her, a, I'm gonna give her a countdown. On the count of one, just touch the leather. Okay, gotcha. And put your feet up. Okay, because I'm just gonna send an electrical charge and try and like knock them all out. In a big metal car. You can pick yeah. a target. Your shock, huh? your shock does one. It doesn't do area of effect damage, correct? It just does one target. Oh. So you, maybe. If you roll, if you roll well, like a I minor effect or a major effect, you might be able to do that. But it's just a one. If I remember correctly, okay. it's just you attack one person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go and ahead, I'm gonna use wreck on this too. Which does what? Uh, I take a negative one penalty to the attack, and I inflict three additional points of damage. And I'm gonna aim for Jerome. Okay. Uh, all right. Wreck we him. Now in combat yeah. with Jerome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what is the difficulty? All right. Difficulty for Jerome is seven, except for it jumps to eight because you're using your ability. It jumps uh, to eight. Yeah, because you get a penal wreck. you get penalized for using. You're wreck. I thought it was a negative Ooh. one to yeah. hit. Yeah, it says, you, it's harder, but you hit harder. Oh, right. damn. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, I have so a lot eight. of assets here. So you just so have to roll a 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on That's it. Correct. It's okay, it's um, to hit him. <laughs> obviously, uh, uh, it's negative two with my. Seven, uh, six. Yeah, with my stuff. Yep. Uh, oh, dear Lord. You gotta roll an 18. Would martial arts and, and any of that help me in this? Because I'm. Not a, I mean, it's. I, I don't think martial arts is going to help. For my dexterity. This is a range attack. Martial yeah. arts. Was he distracted by my uh, <gasps> no. thrown thing? Damn. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Yeah. He did say shit. He did say shit. So he was. Se mm. He seems concerned. So what do you, you got nine, minus two, so you need a six or better? Yeah, no. I'm going to lower this. Hold on. Okay. And it's a light weapon. That's with my staff, negative two. Mm -hmm. I thought you have the two power shifts for that, though, as well. Yeah, it went from uh, eight to six. Oh, wait. Okay, because because I'm using shock, it's also a negative one, so that's five. Excellent. You're gonna win difficulty. Great. So you gotta roll a 15. Okay. And I'm going to use might. Yeah. It's a speed attack. Speed. Okay. Good. You My got... speed is getting kind of hit too. Oh. oh man. Pops might need to take a nap, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, I would very much yeah. like that. So you're down to four, so you need a 12 or better. Yeah. 12 or better. Okay. And I'm gonna use. <laughs> Can you do two uh, effort? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I am. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Got it down to a three. Nine or better. Let's see if I can hit your room. Okay. Come on. Eight. No. <laughs> wait, wait. We're going to reroll. All right. Make your reroll. Thank you. Thank Boom, you. Thank you. baby. <laughs> I caught it. Oh, my God. Six. What was it? It was a six. Oh You're doing oh it? Yeah. Okay. I'm mad. <sighs> I checked the money cook games just to make sure. So and they three. Said, no, no, you can spend as much XP as you she want. Rolled a, she rolled You're another three. No, 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 another three. I got it. Pops, I owe you. Here we go. Do okay, it. that's Come all right. On. It's in the rule book. It's another three. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Get Ready? Someone, okay. Here's me. Give me someone else's dice. Nope, I got, here you go. Here, do this one. Roll with that one. Boom. <laughs> Come on. I'm out of experience points. 18! There we go. Yeah! Oh, okay. So that is, so that's 11 points of damage plus two extra points of damage. Yes! So 13 to plus the Plus one more because it's an 18. Yeah. Uh, well, two, no, it's 18 two is two extra points. So what about 11, your rec? What is your rec? Did she get it? Minor that, that was the plus okay, three. Great. So it's 11 total. So She can choose the extra 13. damage oh. or a minor effect. Oh, okay. Would the minor effect be that I shocked them all? Mm, no. Minor that, okay. How about he's okay. knocked out? No, that's not a minor effect. Okay. Minor How effect about gets you dazed or safely. knocked down? <laughs> minor effect is ignore armor, strikes a specific body part, knock back, move past, or distract. I'm gonna try and hit him right in the chest. Okay. Please. So how much damage total? 13. Nice. But I am gonna go three, two, one! So you hold onto the leather, just in case. Yeah. And then I shoot it. So uh, that way okay. you don't get any electrical discharge. Bolt of lightning that. slams into his chest. Thank he goes please. hurtling back against the wall and slams against it. Um. You see a few of the other guards immediately look in your direction. They stop trying to get him in those boots and they immediately go for weapons. Oh shit, I, don't um, think, I did not think this through. There is, but, okay. again, the smell. No. Now inside this, this transport, there is sort of an acrid smell. It's like chlorine and a scent of gingerbread a little bit, yeah. but it kind of burns your nostrils. Now with the scent of ozone, <coughs> the inside of this place is almost causing you guys to cough. Um, 
that was your action. Mm -hmm. um, next up, after... Okay, so we're at Hector. You're inside the car with Kochi. Now, I'm just gonna say this. You guys are going to catch up the, at the end of this round. You guys are gonna be right next to uh, the transport. The transport. You're gonna and be able to catch up to it. We have leveled out now, as they have. We're yes, no longer I, in the way I'm, The way I'm picturing it is everyone is kind of going like this on their action. So as you're seeing, since um, since you guys are going at about the same time, you, you're watching Lacey already start to level off uh, em Amelia, and you are kind of doing the same. So the three, the the uh, the caravan of death is no longer plummeting straight to the ground. Everyone's kind of like loving it. Loving but it. skyscrapers are coming up. Uh, yeah, they're a few rounds away. Short time, in a few yeah. rounds, this is going to become a trench run in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. So and those are those big pyramid style skyscrapers from Blade Runner and Batman Beyond where you're like how do they fit that in that a downtown that makes no architectural ex yeah but it looks sense. cool and they started doing it and and we're gonna do it they're <laughs> really big and scary um, so yeah so what do you Anton what do you I guess you wanna hold your how, action how far away can I jump out of this car and land onto the transport stretching um, my body or is it hmm. too far away Back is still up. If it's within would, 50 feet. Yeah, the back's still Would that be back easier to do up. if we're level with it, if like we're next to it? So you guys are gonna be, so let me give you an idea. So here's you guys, here's the armored transport, mm -hmm. here's Amelia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you guys are behind the armored transport. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of this round, you're going to have been able to catch up to the armored transport. <gasps> like side by side or the, right behind it? Right behind it. Got it, got it, got it. Um, and from there, you could probably do an Anton. Gotcha, <laughs> but I can't yet. No, you probably need to hold okay. your action. And then Kashi's I probably gonna have to pull you guys in closer. I guess I will hold my action, and I'll say, Koschi, pull us in closer. That is what I am doing. Thank you, thank you for that, and thank you again no. for this snack. You might as well be saying, don't crash car. <laughs> Koschi, don't crash car. All right, okay, good, I'm glad you told me. <laughs> all right, so you're holding your action. Yeah. Um, all right, so then, uh, Koschi, I just go ahead and make a uh, piloting check again. Difficulty on this is actually two. Two, cool. so six or better. Uh, right. Just don't roll like me. <laughs> Do you guys have any of those cards left? Just in case. <laughs> no. no. I use okay. them all on Bonnie. Four. <laughs> okay. So oh, 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 anything yeah. over wait, there? Wait, any wait, XP? Wait, wait. XP? Here, wait. It's okay. I've, I'm in his comms. I wait. Have that's right. Yet. You have the. Okay. I'm in your comms. So you get it. Will it's that work? So it was a level one. Try again. Well, wait. No, because don't you still have the encouragement or the? That's for defense. Yeah, defense that's oh, you guys are keeping track of how much XP you have, right? Yeah. Is that yeah. Pile of... I have no XP, which is why I'm not. I noticed. Yeah. Is th this is my pile of XP here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the piles are just for when. Did we get any at the end of last week's session? Huh? No. Did we get, we get we any at the end yeah, of last week's session? Yeah, you should have all received one XP. Ooh. Oh, oh, it was oh. cool. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Suddenly everyone is XP millionaire. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I have not re-rolled yet, but thank you for spending that card. Okay. That is a six. Yes! yes. <laughs> Barely Anton, what I needed. So so basically in just sort of a leapfrogging of the initiative, um, what we're doing then is Kochi goes first, gets you a little bit closer, and you kind of climb out. So just make a athletics check. Okay. Any kind of move or athletics check you've got uh, here. Am I climbing out to try to jump onto the car now, or is that yes, what I'm doing? Yes, this is your move. Okay, action. got it, got it. Top, top. Okay. Uh, so what we are seeing now, we can see into the back of the transport, so we can see all the foes. The windows are all armored up. So you ah. can't actually see inside of this thing. Oh, so back it's is, like, it's not open. No, no, no. The back of the back of the Oh, oh yeah, yes. yeah, they just misunderstood. What if uh, on the top of the turret, I, can I, would I be able to draw a bead on the fellow who is in the turret? Mm. Yeah, you know what? I would say your move action was just pulling closer. You can open your door and try to shoot out the side of your car. Yes, yeah, so, uh, but, you know, car. Cruise control. So, <laughs> he is going to be in partial cover. Mm -hmm. So he's a smaller target. Yes. Um, so this is gonna be a tough shot. Mm, but see what I can do. See what you can do. So it's gonna be a difficulty eight shot. Oh, difficulty eight. All right. Well, I have uh, firearms plus a specialty in handguns. Okay. Uh, handguns is light weapon. Do I mm -hmm. get a bonus for that as so well? That's yep. minus three, so you're down to five. Down to five. So I need fifteen or better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Isn't your your I tart oh, yeah, you have an asset. asset. You have yes. an asset for aiming Cybernetic eye. Cybernetic eye. Cool. That takes it down to four. That takes mm -hmm. it down to four. Very well. And I think I will spend... Um, speed. It would be speed. I would spend <laughs> You wanted speed. to spend a level of effort. So minus three points. And do you have an edge in speed? I do have edge in speed. So, so only, two, only two. Two points. And then you get to drop it down to three. So now you need a nine or better to nine demand a shot. Let us see. 
Those last two rolls were not encouraging, but maybe I used up all the crap you... We all have XP now to help. No, I did not. That is a tool. <laughs> no, okay. not today. Oh, wildly. I'll yes. use it. How many do you have? Oh, now? you will use This is the one I got from the last session. Take mine. You sure? Oh, I have a million. Please, please. Oh, so that's more than three. <laughs> Very well. Right. Okay. So I'm still going for nine. I have yet to roll anything above a six <laughs> in the last little while. A 19. Whoa! Yeah! So that's three extra damage. Good. Or a, a minor effect. Um, oh, yeah, 19 is minor effect, not 18. That's fine. Um, it's okay, I did the points. That's okay, damage. you did the damage yeah. anyway. Um, so three extra damage. You do five total. So he had. Where is his hit points? Not a ton. Wait, yeah. Hurt was put into him last session. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. no, he's done. Oh, yeah, he's. Yeah. So I, uh, Bugsy, I have to ask you, do you kill him? Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> there's a spray of blood. Yeah, I blow up uh, his head, you know. Like a small <laughs> hole in the back, and then larger hole in the so, helmet, hey, and coming out the Amy, back. Lots you know of... how you were trying to keep this into the comics code? <laughs> well, we've gone into dread. Oh, <laughs> yes, I am, I am from mature readers. Yeah. <laughs> Run the um, vertigo in. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there is a spray of black liquid, not red like blood, sort of a blackish liquid. Hmm. I don't Spray. feel so bad. And he goes, and then slides back down. You see Kashi make an impossible shot with a handgun. <laughs> right out the side of the car, just pops the guy in the turret. He's, he's like, is he's sort of rattling off banter to you, like, yes, you know, and just leans out and pop as he pulls in. The guy in the turret disappears, just slumps down into the transport. Kashi! And there's just this spray of black, what looks like ink all over the top of the armored transport. That is one less to worry about. That was awesome. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Anton. Wow. I appreciate that. Go help your friends. Okay, bye. Are you shipping it? Is that what this is? Oh. You... <laughs> what's happening? I, is there I just see them, the way they're looking at each other. I'm like, are you guys shipping this already? Is this already happening? Is there live shipping well, happening right now? It's just general love for everyone over uh, there. Yeah. Uh, right, right, That's right, okay, right. great. It's good. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Friends are um, nice. Right. Friends are nice. <laughs> I'm in so a ship. Go ahead and make your, your athletics check. Thanks, Kochi. Bye. <laughs> okay. so, um, I have a, a athletics check. Um, I have an uh, inability in jumping, <laughs> an inability in running, <laughs> an inability in climbing. Which one of these is that? This would be too grabby, boy. It'd be jump. So I have an inability in jumping. So it goes from what to what? What's the difficulty? Well, the, the difficulty was gonna be five, so now it's six. So now it's six, oh so I'd have to roll an 18. But I have, as an asset, my fluid synth skin suit, obviously, mm -hmm. helps me with my stretchiness. I remember so, when you got that suit. Yeah, you ah, were there. Mm -hmm. So then it goes back down to a, a f uh, five. five. And, uh, hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna use some uh, some some effort here. So okay. this is speed, you said, or might? Uh, this is speed. Speed? Okay, I have an edge in speed, so it would be so I have to use like use two effort. That's right. To knock it down to two, four. Two points to get a. Uh, so you've got if you got one edge in speed. Yeah. So then it's usually three, but you knock it down to two. Great. So I'll use two points of that to bring it down to a four. So I got to roll a twelve or better. Right? Am I doing that right, everybody? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, great. Here we go. 12 or better. Here we go. Mm. Pills are good. Four. What was that catchphrase? Uh, Boom, baby. From Dumb and Dumb. Is that your last XP? Uh. Last XP. <laughs> Here You're we go. spending XP like it is going up the stuff. <laughs> it is. I'm rain. gonna die. <laughs> 12 or better. Five. Yeah, Anton. Take it. Oh, take it. Oh. Take mine. That's okay. Crazy. You have to throw it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Twelve we're or be, better. We're gonna be in like season five of Callisto Six, oh. and everyone's gonna be like, "Why are we still tier two? Twelve. Ah. Wait, that was it, right? That's yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that's why we're still tier two. That's why. <laughs> we're still we're still rolling like we're in except Star Trek, and it's so Except Tracy, who doesn't so spend XP on anything except mm -hmm. for leveling up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You guys have XP spendthrifts, but I appreciate it. I, I made our used. ship into a submarine. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so I true. jump Submersible. and I make it. Stretch my body out and make oh, it. Oh, yeah, it has a brief transport. vision of all these futures where Anton plummets to his death. Uh, 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 oh, uh, thankfully, uh, he picked the right one. <laughs> I jump out and get like trapped in like a turbine of a plane or something like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, capes. <laughs> um, you go step, this elongated footstep and a quick hop onto the transport. Um, you kind of stabilize a little bit. And yeah, again, a gruesome scene. There's no sign of the guy that was shot. You just see that 
horrible splatter kind of in, because of the wind effect. It's kind of all over in the general area. I'm going in. I'm going in that hole. <clears throat> uh, okay. So you're full action. Yeah. You go down into the mm-hmm. hops. You're in the front. Okay. So, yeah, but I mean, I'm looking in the back because I just shot at. Well, everyone's gonna see um, Anton since you're using your full your action here. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone's gonna see right after the lightning strike. You just see this leg, and then Anton standing there. I knocked him out, right? And I, I knocked Jerome out. Jerome? Yeah. Oh, no. hell no. You got no. a good zap on him, though. Oh, and he's farther no. away, he's which boss. is good. He's this, a boss. He is a boss fight. Okay. And, uh, question. So this, he has uh, sort of slithered inside, so it's still not open. I cannot, I cannot mm. see any of this. That's correct. Okay. He's gone um, up the top little thing <laughs> by the gun. But as you slip inside, by the way, you've also heard a popping sound and then saw a guy drop dead out of the turret. Um, with his head blown off in the back. And then moments later, Anton steps down inside to the turret. And I look at the bad guys and I go, yeah, I did that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So that's your action. Speaking of the bad guys. Uh Also, Uh, just an above game question. How was Dr. Jerome with his powers being transported safely before? How was he being moved? There's How? a tech force field, he just said. Uh, there was, there, there's there's an implication of a tech force field that he had been supplied with. And by the way, all the guards that had been knocked unconscious here looked like they also had equipped masks. Gotcha. So he um, had a, like a personal force field. However, it does not look like any of these soldiers who are rescuing them are equipped with anything to protect them from breathing anything in. Um, yeah. But the, but the but transport ones were. Yes. And Jerome yeah. created them anyway, so they might not be affected by the poison. So, um, but yeah. Um, all right, so Lacey, right? Uh, yeah. the you are at the risk of them. You've leveled off. <laughs> Being gonna... honest, isn't it the baddies first? Uh, them. Oh, it is. Thank you. Yes, it is. Friendly They're reminder. At five. You Thanks, all have Lacey. Defense. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Luma. Except um, you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> oh, here we'll we go. You, we'll get you an earpiece. Um, <laughs> here's, she talking? here's a flip phone. Just you should get like a rubber earpiece or something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I still have my later. tablet. It's just you that know. Doesn't have. I don't a, answer like, it. No. Yeah. I don't use Bluetooth or whatever that's called. No one's used Bluetooth for like 80 years. Oh, that's true. It's green <laughs> and tooth right now. Right up her alley. I, I'll take a Bluetooth. This is perfect. We'll discuss this nothing, after we're not getting and killed. They serve us tea. <laughs> uh, first up, Anton, I need Shit. you to make a speed defense check. <laughs> you got it. Difficulty now, is eight. That, oh, I'm sorry, six. That's I worth. am six. trained in. So Difficulty six bad. goes down to five. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> what else that's can I oh, do? Oh, defense. <laughs> four. Gave you a bump. Boom. So down to four. Down, down to four. four. Down to four. And I have an edge in speed. Okay. So I can use two to bring it down to. Three. Three. Yes. Yep. Here mm-hmm. we go. Nine or better. I don't like that one. I like this one. Nine or better. Nineteen. 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 Okay. Oh, you thank get you. the hell out of the way. Uh, I need you to make another one. Okay. Does he get a minor effect? Hmm? Does he get a minor effect from that nineteen? You can get a minor effect to do something like I'll let you jump behind cover. Yeah, I'll do that. A minor effect for that. So a chair. So then Come up to the, front with this. the difficulty will drop by one. Now it's five. Okay. So then, so then, boom. Uh, uh, boom, my own training. And uh, you said it was five, so that's four, three. I'll leave it at three. I'm not going to expel any effort, okay. expend any effort. Make a roll. <clears throat> 13. Yeah. Okay. That's more than nine. Um, the, the heat from these plasma guns, they fire like machine guns, but they are firing what looks like incendiary plasma rounds. And one of these guys opens up. The moment he spots you, you see him pull up. It looks like sort of an AUG. It's like a small submachine gun, and he opens fire on you. There's an explosion, a muzzle flare. Um, brightens up the entire interior as he goes. You manage to slip behind one of the barriers that sets up a tech force cage on this side of the armor transport. And you all just see this blackened marks of these these like lines of death just being traced across the side of this armored transport as he just opens up in your direction, barely missing you. Um, the other guy does the exact same thing and also misses you. So there's gunfire erupts on the inside of this bus, cartridges of spent plasma shells just flying all over the, into the back. Um, next up is hops. I need you to make a defense roll. The difficulty is actually going to be five because you were technically behind a chair. Okay, and I'm, I'm specialized in speed defense, so it lowers that to three. <clears throat> And, and Luma. Nope. Luma says try hard. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Mike. It's okay. Um, so you're still in the seat with Cass. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still in the front, but I did look. Are you still I on my lap? Because 
I did. I did go into the back. I figured it's like if there's two seats. No, you're still on the shoulder. Yeah. Can so you're you're still you're still behind the seat. Right. I mean, we're so dead. We're so dead. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do NGM intrusion. I'm going to take Why away me? the seat as cover because Cass destroyed most of it. All right. So, so now it's a four I'm better. I'm going to remove All that right. so All you guys, you don't have. At least we get more XP. You can accept Actually, it. Yeah. Have consequences. So gain, gain one XP. Boom, one Bonnie. for you, and then, and then you then. give this to somebody. You, because you've given Thank all you. yours. <laughs> I have one now. All right. All right. Uh, so now it's a 12 or better? Um, Actually, with no cover, yeah, because I it was I got it down to three. Mm -hmm. So now we're adding another one, right? So now it's a four. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. I can do this. I did it! A twelve! <gasps> I mean, you have to duck down low enough, but I also need uh Cass to make a roll now. Oh no. Oh. But uh, she has the cover. They're shooting it Cass all over. I'm gonna shit. penalize Cass because Cass is technically facing yeah. forward. I'm kind of a sitting trying back to yeah, trying ways. to do this. So uh, Cass. Cass. But can I can I no. Be a barrier. Oh. Okay. What's yeah. the difficulty? Cass has got cover. You're not. I took away cover from this from the chair. So the difficulty for this is going to be six. Six. Uh, five. five for Luma. Uh, You're two for speed, speed defense. Speed defense count for this, even though I'm technically can't. It's still a speed defense roll to dodge something, right? Just the, um, the basic. Yes, I think I would give that to you still. You yeah, still have the ability to sort yeah. of like you when you're hearing gunfire erupt, you kind of yeah. hunker down. Um, I'm going to actually raise it to seven though, because you're technically prone. You're not moving. Okay. So you're literally uh, dodging from the waist up right now as you're trying to just base, like duck down in the seat. So, so seven it started to six, at seven. Seven to six. Started at seven. Six, six to five. Six to four because I actually have two in speed Whoa, defense. Whoa, four. <laughs> uh, that's twelve or above. You have an edge <clears> in speed, so you can use two. I do. Let's make it. Uh, make it. So. What are you at? At six now. Yeah. So now we're down to mm -hmm. three. Uh, difficulty. Yeah, nine or okay. better. Nine I think or I better. better go with it. <laughs> How much damage do these do exactly? I and just you just points. hear a little voice in your oh, yeah. palm. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. <laughs> Reroll. Oh yeah, did you did you use Lumas? I to want to everyone to yeah. yeah. stamp this. Sam just gave an XP away. <laughs> Don't like this. Sam. Sam hasn't had XP since we wow, were in this Sam. give everything away I mode. celebrate my power gamers, and I love it when I see them do things that are completely out of my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. get a nine or better. 16. Okay. Woo. You duck down low as the controls in front of you spark and explode from gunfire. Oh, oh crap. Um, your, the stick of this thing begins to shake a little bit as you watch a lot of the meters and dials and all these digital displays just pop and bust as gunfire just tears across the front part of the cockpit. Um, that's their action. And then it's Jerome's no. action. Oh, uh, no. We're not at the end of the round, are we? No. No, because I have my action I held. Delayed action, right? You can do that after this one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to jump right, in uh, just after this. It's going to be Jerome, so he's going to step forward. Um, All three of you are in there with him, yes? Yep. Okay. <coughs> Jerome steps forward about 10 feet. He, he's basically side by side with you, Anton. You what? see he's got this ugly look on his face like he is just furious is as he steps forward burnt scorch mark in the center of his chest and he just goes <sighs> and just begins to exhale with his palms open. The air around him becomes wavy. I need everyone to make a, mm -hmm. um, this is actually. Mic defense? Mm -hmm. um, Might. Intellect? Yeah. It's a single action. Please let it not be intellect. This is a mic defense roll. All right. Level seven. Oh my God. Uh, dang. Uh, All three of you this. need to make it. Um, uh, no, that was the touch attack. That one was Yeah, no, that it, was way worse. Yeah. Okay, so well, yeah, I, I've got a defense, I'm trained in defense tasks. That counts, right? This is that, that's what that is? Cause it's in my, yeah. it's in my might? Okay, cool. Would this count as speed defense as well? No, like, this is a might defense. Oh shit, I have an inability against might defense. Uh, no, you do. I do, I don't know how. Oh. I'm trained in martial You're arts. Good it really raises it to an eight for you. Great. None of okay, my things seven, give me bite defense. Six. That seems like maybe I built this Right? Rock. I have a feeling me too. <laughs> yeah, my like defense is not a super common thing. Uh, yeah. It's the inability comes from being fast and like, yeah. And let's also point out um, that you guys are still kind of getting new to being superheroes. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So, something to work towards. Mm -hmm. I'm stretchy yeah. and being I'm bad at jumping. Oh, <laughs> but I do have endurance. So if I held my breath, I could hold oh, yeah. longer than all that of them. That was exactly what it was. Uh, this, is, this is a poison contact attack. It doesn't matter if you breathe it in or not. 
God. This is a straight up might defense roll. Oh what goes in through it's the still pores? Still a defense roll, though. Is that everyone goes in through the pores yep. of the skin. Thank you. Yeah, it like looks like it permeates gets. the entire interior. Of this. Get a Bluetooth. <laughs> Anton and I get sixes because we have Luma's defense aid right now. Okay, cool. awesome. Um, then down comes into play. to five. Um, then and um, you, Hops, it's an eight. Yeah, I'm quite aware. I can lower it to a six with using my my down to oh, four. effort and edge and all that. Oh my god. I might die. I'm just letting you all know <laughs> in my pools okay. of abilities here. Oh, I no, no. Um, I, I, brought I will my say this, Hops. If you had been able to take an action to hold your breath before this attack happened, mm. then you could have done it. Oh. You could have done it, but. I brought mine down to a four. Um, oh. All right, make your rolls. I did not make it. I'm going to spend my only XP okay. to re-roll. <laughs> 12 or better. 10. I die. Take it. <laughs> take it. You have to throw it. Now it counts. <laughs> 12. 14. Oh, I'm alive. Okay. I got it down to a six. <laughs> Make your rolls. Okay. I turn into a plastic man egg shape, just like. Okay. I'm trying to think what else I can do. <laughs> I spent one effort to take it to a five for me. That is 15 or above. Um, oh, God. Don't spend on me if this fails, if the math is not great. But let's just see if we can fucking do this. 10. No. We broke the. I can't swearing. spend. Hold on. I can't. I mean, I need, <laughs> I need a three of you. Or I mean, I need an eighteen or better. There's no so way I can. Those who failed are going to take seven points of speed damage. Oh. I'm at zero. Then you are now considered uh, hailed. I at you speed are, damage. You are inhibited. Yes, yeah, speed damage. Mm -hmm. oh. Impaired on this thing, impaired, right? Impaired. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So, what that basically means is you can't. Not might. You know, I can't use. Speed no, might. this is speed defense damage. Well, if um, it's speed defense, then I have specialized in that, so I could have been able to use that, No, right? it's it's speed might. damage. It's damage to your speed. It's okay. a might defense roll, well, and it affects your speed. All right, um, I am also impaired. Does the pool go to negative one or to zero? No, it goes to zero, and then okay. it's going to move Is on to the next Is it too late to give Thank at least goodness. one of them my XP to try? It's too late. Sorry. <laughs> I committed to this. I, it was foolish. I, we'll see what happens. See later. Oh, oh yeah, so you knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I love you too much. <laughs> so, yeah, um, uh, basically, you're not going to be able to, as impaired, moving on, Bonnie. Um, you have zero pad, so it costs one extra point uh, per level for effort. Yeah. So effort normally costs three, now it costs four. Um, and rolls of 17 or better only deal one point of damage, and you cannot have minor or major effects. In it only dogs. adds one point of damage, right? That's correct. You can't yeah. do the three, four damage for rolling natural 20s now. Got it. We um, need to And bail. now it's going to move into your might defense. We're so in all the damage you take moving forward, unless otherwise specified, will be might. Awesome. Now, um, recovery rolls are a thing. They will take our whole action, but we have them. That's correct. Yes, Can um, I, I need to do that. And also, so On you also took this damage. Things. Is that correct, Cass? Yeah. Okay, so the two of you are going to spend the next round completely helpless as you start coughing uncontrollably. <sighs> okay. Um, the, the Maybe that was burning, the recovery roll. This <laughs> burning <laughs> sensation in your throat as you feel this like chlorine sort of like taste and your eyes begin to water as the entire inside of this transport fills with this noxious fume. And endurance will no, help me at all. Oh, Not anymore. No. So um, he has. You are both just oh, no. coughing, uh, try, just trying to get this out of your lungs. <laughs> it's this burning sensation in your chest. This guy. Um, <laughs> uh, that's their action. So now we are to, uh, if we want, Oya, you can okay. jump in here. Yeah. Or, otherwise, it's going to be Lacey. Oh no! no then it would cost G too. Costume and before. Costume just blew someone's head off. Yes, it killed the guy. He blew someone's head off. He just blew. Costume blew somebody's head off. How far are we from? So in the chain, how far are all the vehicles? So you guys are probably about 30 feet now, 30 or 45 feet in front of the of the transport, right in front of it. Y'all have leveled off. Okay. So out the back, out the back of the of the of Amelia, you can see them dead ahead. You can actually see into the driver window a bunch of commotion taking place. Okay. And, and Cass and uh, and Hops are clearly visible. And there's three of the dudes, armor or mm -hmm. people. You can't see anybody else inside. I can only see the people in the front. You can see Ooh. through the wind. You through through the windshield. You can see Cass and you can see Hops, and it looks like they're. You're not sure what it is they're doing, but they look like they're gagging and coughing. Okay. Um. Um. Do I get a move and an action? Mm -hmm. But you can only move 10 feet. So it's a right. short move and then an action. Mm -hmm. You want to move more than We're that. 30 feet away. That's a full action? But are you trying, what are you trying to do? I'd like to do onslaught on these 
the guard thingies. Turn. Yeah, you don't have line of sight on them. They're in the yeah. back of this armored transport. Okay. You might be able to see the the, the uh, a familiar figure moving around in the back, but again, it's through the haze of thick mm -hmm. bulletproof glass. Okay. Yeah. Then if I can see those two, and and I can see uh, Anton too. Uh, you, you wouldn't be able to see Anton. Oh, he's in a he's egg. In back. Yeah, <laughs> he's in the back. Yeah. You okay. can see these two because oh, they're basically right, right. Right. standing okay. next to Jerome. Yeah. They're right. all kind of hidden behind us. All right, Jerome, uh, second, come on. I'm gonna do the timey wimey, oh. and um, reverse their physical <clears throat> state to before they breathed in that stuff. So you want to basically give them a reroll? No. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like want to reverse their physical state just mm -hmm. before they breathe in. Before stuff. he did the yeah. poison, maybe, or can rewind them, or fast forward us to where we. I don't. We record quicker. quicker. Accelerate yeah, metabolism we, of the. Top yeah, that is. That, yeah, that, that, and that, that way we can. That way we don't miss a turn. It. Okay. I'm speeding up their, at least to the time she at least I'm okay. speeding up their liver and detoxification and all their blood flow so that they yep. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you spend four intellect points and I'll give it to you. Whoa. Good. Thank you. All right. You, That's oh yeah. Our time you move awesome. up to the back, you stare straight ahead, focusing on your friends who look like they're in deep shit. Um and you just focus and extend your hand, and you all know you've seen this power so many times from Oya. Um the two of you in the seat become aware that something is strange happening. As time around you begins to sort of warp, your body begins to just, it, it almost feels like a tingling sensation moving through you. And for a split second, you perceive things moving faster, quicker. Like your cough is, and then it's gone. <laughs> you might be sweaty or something. Cause they gotta sweat it out. Probably. You, probably. Oh yeah. As you release this this hold on the time shift, you just you can feel how that taxed you as you were warping space time there for a second. Hell you guys, yeah, oh yeah. Um, with that expenditure and that ability, I will remove you guys. Are done with the coughing fits. Yes. Does that mean um, we get our speed back? No, you do not. You don't heal. You just get your ability back. <laughs> Bonnie the Bargainer. Bon no, I <laughs> Wait, yeah. Bonnie the Bargainer pops. Seven points of speed. Back to me, right? Back to, yeah. All right. So um, we're actually going to have to pause there because we're at our break. We have to we're gonna pause in the middle of the initiative, and we're gonna, when we come back, it's going to be Lacey and Luma. So I'm going to mark this down. Feel good about well, it. So we're going to be back in about 10 minutes, guys. Same. Don't go anywhere. We're going to figure out how this ends. We'll see you in 10 minutes. No, like for real same. On Lacey's round. And Lacey? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys have managed to level off. Um, okay. The ship's leveled off. Cool. And I'm just, that's just an action I'm going to give you because that's not really much of a. Actually, I should make that a piloting check because you were kind of diving pretty deep. So why don't you go ahead and make a quick piloting check to level off Amelia? Okay. Um, difficulty is going to be set at. <coughs> I think I'm going to set the difficulty at. I'd forgotten, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you. Because um, I had forgotten in the last round of narration when Oya was leaning out the back and was describing what she could see, she would not have been able to see everybody because y'all were still in the dive. We were? Yeah, because your action would have been pulling out of the dive. But the bus, oh. the, the transport, was no longer in the dive. So you would have been looking straight oh, up at it, you know what I mean? So oh. we're just gonna say, as part of your action this round, I'm just gonna give it to you that you managed to pull that out and keep uh, Amelia leveled off. So, okay. I'll just, so we'll just set the narrative there and start the scene with you okay. wrestling the ship, just kind of groans as you manage to pull it out, and then you see Oya in the back does her ability. Um, I am going to... I'll infer then that I have a really nice little rear view mirror, mm -hmm. and I have a, a rear view window charm. I, okay, real quick <laughs> though, as, as just sort of like to, to iron this out, I am going to have Amelia take three points of structure damage from the dive and from the leveling off which is gonna do really nothing, considering how many hit points she has. So there's a bit of a screeching sound as you guys had pulled out of the dive from the wings, but you guys are leveled off and fine. Okay. Um, so on this round, I'm gonna give you your your normal allotment of actions. What would you like to do? Oh, lovely. Um, I would love to find the controls of the prison transport. Okay. Because all cars are computerized in the year of our Porg 2119. Yes. Um, <laughs> all right. So this is going to be a difficulty 
eight check. Okay. <coughs> um, what kind of check? It's going to be, so you're using your psychic ability to connect okay. with the computer. Mm -hmm. um, list me, what skills do you normally use for this effect? It'd be an intellect check for sure. Yes. Um, so, uh, let's see, it's not coding. Um, I'm, am I using devices? Yes. Cool. Uh, then it's pretty much my tech use check. Okay. Great. So with the level of effort that hits zero? Um, or you don't have to spend effort for it? Difficulty Because you get a free level effort, right? Uh, yeah, I have a free level of effort, but my tech use check is only uh, worth six, I believe, unless uh, I can, yeah. Um, okay. My tech use check is only worth So just to six. give you a heads up, taking the action to connect to this thing, it means that that Sweet Baby's basically have to take be your co-pilot here and take control of Amelia for one round. That's perfect because uh, uh, one of my assets, is, the asset in using devices is Sweet Baby. Okay. So then we'll just say one of the things that keeps the plane, Amelia, flying um, is Sweet Baby. So you're able to use that. You can mm -hmm. now. Well, I would say you probably couldn't use Sweet Baby as an asset to connect to this thing because Sweet Baby is going to have to be allocated to flying the ship. That's how I'm flavoring that oh, I can that's how you're do both of it. I yeah. see. Okay, cool. Just flavor for an ability. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, and you're next to me. Oh, you're doing all this. <laughs> no. The Luma no. Also, the wind has stopped blasting through the window, thankfully. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's right. Still, it's well, still, I mean, it's, we're still I mean, moving. Yes, yeah. it's still boring. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not, you're not in a full dive in an afterburn, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's still blasting through the window, but it's not roaring into your face the way sure, it was Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. High winds, but it's not I'm still a leaf blower in your head. Heavily fatigued. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm I'm continuing to declare that I'm holding Luma's hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make your check. Um. Okay. So, I'll I'll actually just expend a second level of effort too. Okay. <laughs> um, your mind reaches out and connects with what's left of the software that is functioning in the front of that co in front of the uh, pilot seat. Um. Lacey, judging from the languages that you're hearing coming from the computer, you're you're guessing this computer has been heavily damaged because it sounds like requests are going out and nothing is coming back, or half requests are going out and half requests that weren't anything to do with the other requests are coming back. It just sounds like the computer is literally talking to itself in broken conversation. Um, probably some kind of physical damage has taken place on board the craft itself. However, you are able to connect with the controls. It's okay, Transport. I'm here now. You can talk to me. <laughs> okay. You hear a bunch of positives and negatives coming through, affirmatives and, and like denials, all of this stuff, but you do have connection with the uh, the piloting of this Transport. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to help drive. All right. <clears throat> uh, okay, so that's your action. I'm choking Luma, and the controls just got blown up, so thank you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there, something happened to these controls. Um, I couldn't fathom what it could possibly be. Uh, I am going to insert a GM intrusion here. Okay. Oh, no. um, into Lacey's or Luma's? Into Lacey's. Okay. Okay. Um, I accept it with gladness. It's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> of course it's they do. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Lacey, that dive, all the maneuvers, and some of the damage that's been done from the maneuvers and now to the transport itself, mm -hmm. you're detecting that this thing doesn't have a lot of fuel or energy to, left to keep it up in the sky. Um, right. For whatever reason, it looks like it's bleeding power. Um, you suspect hmm. maybe two or three more rounds. It's not going to make it to the city. Okay, okay. it doesn't have to. It's fine. Cool. All right, Luma. <laughs> okay. Question. Yeah. So, um, I'm I'm probably going to be uh, keeping the encouragement for one more for this action. However, mm -hmm. since I'm not moving, can I instead of a movement action, can I search for an action and do this the encouragement as my action? As search I like attack Yeah. Like can I like My friends are in danger. I have no way to get to them. <clears throat> Their power is going out. Think bad Jerome is poisoning them. Mm -hmm. And you know when you're like in a space and you just start like panic searching in all of the glove compartments and you're just like freaking out. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll find a weapon or a thing that I can like get them. Can I like panic search for a cipher as my movement action and mm. encourage them? Mm. We haven't gotten a cipher in a long time and I'm itching. That's the thing is you guys haven't searched for ciphers in No, ages. we haven't. So can I search Amelia's glove compartments? <laughs> is the encouragement something that can be done hands-free? Yeah, because yep. she's like, you guys are doing great. No, Hang in no there. we figured it out. Free? It's an action. Uh, so I do it every time, okay. but it's my attack action. Can I use this you know, as my I think, movement I think that's action? Cool. 
I think yeah. Cool. yeah. I, I like watching people use the cipher system to its yes. effect. So yes, let's roll for cipher. Awesome. <laughs> let's see what may have been stashed in this cockpit. Maybe one night, Lacey was working and doing modifications and just left a nice little uh, thing in the back. There's so many. Lacey, what'd you leave? <laughs> what'd you uh, leave up here, Lacey? Probably what you working more on? bombs. I <laughs> left a. Uh, and then we roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> An <laughs> antidote bomb. An oh, antidote cool. bomb. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, thank you. I was like, I can't. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Thank you. Ooh. All right, give me one sec. Ciphers. Cyphers. This is very easy. Thank you to Monty Cook Games for sponsoring these episodes. Yay! Uh, so roll 2D10. Yes. This wonderful system of finding cool shit. Come on. That's a 65. It's a bomb. Oh my god. What is it? <laughs> well, that <laughs> what did you is leave fucking like? brilliant. <laughs> did I leave a bomb? Did is I leave a brilliant? Uh, is it, is roll, it useful? Roll 2D10 uh, again. 2d10 again? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. The first roll was 65. The second one is? Uh, 39. Okay. You find a rejuvenator. <laughs> it's level, roll a d6. A rejuvenator. Five. Five. So it's level seven. Ooh! That's a lot of juve. And it restores <laughs> uh, restores a number of points equal to the cipher's level to one random stat roll, which in this case is might. Mm, okay. So when you it's use helpful. this, it'll instantly restore seven points to someone's might pool. Whoa. So you see, it's very much like the cortical stimulator, but you're just around, you're like, oh God, what do we, oh my God. You just kind of pop open the first aid cabinet and inside you see what looks like a muscle regenerator, a little patch that you slap on that huh. kind of feeds adrenaline, but also kind of, amplifies the healing process. And it's just literally a, a, like a tech patch you put on somebody's arm. You pull it down and look at it. There you go. Found awesome. Cypher for the game. Just, we're gonna need that. Mm -hmm. I think I may have something you guys can use. Cool, I'm encouraged. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> encouraged to find something. Very uh, encouraged. What? I'm gonna ask you guys, which one would you like to be encouraged Protect in? Protect or attack? We're about to attack. I mean, it doesn't matter for me either way, but um, for them. It, I'm gonna I, say defense because wanna, Jerome is still poisonous. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So I'm so declaring Jerome, defense. Jerome attacks your might and damages your speed if you haven't caught on yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that one, please. Thank you. So, yeah, he is ouchy. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it. So next up, that is the top of the round now. Yep. So we are back to Oya. Ooh, top of the round ooh. to you. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, uh, I have a quick question before Oya goes again. W what Oya did to <laughs> Cass and I, does that enable us to have a move? You'll have your way? actions. Yeah. Sweet. Um, uh, I would, uh, I'm gonna just say, Lacey, can you get us closer? Any closer? Um, yeah. <laughs> does that, can we get I can, closer? Well, because I can make the thing slow down. Ah. Oh. Ah. That. But wait, aren't you in front of the thing? Yeah, but yeah. they're yeah, but they're driving connected. it, yeah, or helping with the piloting. Hmm. With their yeah, but if that slows down, y'all will pull ahead. Lacey, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have. To I want to get us closer. Track. Yeah, so like okay. this. Okay, what's the difficulty? Intellect so yeah. speeds it's gonna be up. Difficulty three. Yeah, yeah. The, okay, am I still um am I still holding your hand? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that an asset? My, hand holding? Uh, actually, <laughs> so we all, in addition crazy. to other things, take a PC connection, it. which for the most part are like flavor things. Um, mine is that when I'm holding Luma's hand, mm -hmm. only when I'm holding Luma's hand, I have plus one edge. I, you <laughs> never do anything unless it's a game mechanic. I knew it. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. It's brilliant. <laughs> the way you hold it could be. My gosh. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful way to add story beats it is. to mechanics of mm -hmm. game. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is why I hold your hand. <laughs> 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 okay, so it's difficult to do. I have my contact, so that's down by one. Um, I have my free level, and uh, I will spend... Uh, Two levels of edge rather than one, okay. so that brings it to zero. Okay, so you then <coughs> I, then I'm going to let you hear Oya. All right, great. <laughs> Who is shouting at you? You actually it, over the din of of the okay, code that's heavy. racing through your head right now. In the back of your mind, you can hear the voice of Oya asking you if you can get a closer. <coughs> I can do that. I can do that. I can do that, I can do that, I can do that, right? I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. You can do it, you can do it. I can drive now. So much driving. I know. 
more driving than I've ever done. Okay. Yeah, especially because you just pulled a maneuver that like an expert pilot would have to be making rolls for. I'm sure. Lacey's not thinking about that right now. <laughs> Welcome to my best friend. <laughs> you right, marked so stage basically, it. <laughs> So it's not really a roll to decelerate this craft, but you can give Sweet Baby that order and Sweet Baby will do it. <clears throat> so we'll just say that's part of, so. Thank you, Sweet Baby. Aliza. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to be able to happen until uh, Lacey's action comes around because Sweet Baby activates on Lacey's round. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. So, so then all you right. can hold your action until then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to like take your action away. Although, wait. Actually, no. What's um. Up? Um. Uh, yeah, you guys need Oya on that transport so bad right now. I mean, I I have dexterity, acrobatics, movement. Do you um, have power shifts in that? Yeah. You have power shifts in dexterity? Non dexterity. Uh, power yeah, shift, it's just yeah. dexterity power, which gets me uh, acrobatics. shifts in acrobatics, movement. Really? Speed defense and initiative. Acrobatics and movement would come into play here because it, it it is a superhuman jump to that transport. I wanna I wanna try it. <coughs> okay. All right, Oya. So what right. you got? Um, jumping from, let's see, you guys are about 45 feet in front of this thing. Oh God. Um, however, it's not gonna be anything like it was for Cass when y'all were chasing this thing down. Uh, yeah, that was like 80 feet. Yeah, it's not gonna be a... Someone help. It's not gonna be She-Hulk jump, um, but I am gonna set the difficulty. It is incredible. It is, this is like far beyond Olympian leaping. So I am gonna set the difficulty here at uh, seven. Okay, can I spend, what, what am I spending in, uh, if I spend some effort? Uh, you would be speed. Okay, so I get a shift in speed and a shift in movement. So seven, six, five. Acrobatics, does five. that also count? I'll let you have acrobatics on this, so four. Four, and, and then, then if you spend a level of effort out of your speed, you can drop it down to three. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I have an edge in speed of two, so I only spend one point, yeah? Okay, so you only oh. spend one point. Can I do that again? Yes, and it's only two for the but second. But now I have to spend two. Mm -hmm. it's oh. only, yeah, so total Oh, so it's three. free. So, no, no, no. Oh, the edge only applies once, but it is ah. only two to get the second Okay. Level. So in other words, for what you would normally spend for one level of edge, which is three, you uh -huh. spend three and get two points of okay. effort. Great. So it drops from three to two. So what you need to. Uh, Damn, we've never seen Oya actually do something like superhuman. So you can't keep freaking poisoning everyone. Oh. Yeah, remember Oya oh, locked okay, his ass so down last time you guys yeah, had a fight with him. Okay. Closer to him. Mm -hmm. Um. So the difficulty for this is now down to two, so you need a six or better. Wow. Hey, okay. I'm gonna use a different die. <laughs> yeah. Pulling out the okie dokie die. <laughs> for you. Do you need XP? Do you need what XP? Was it? What happened? Was it a one? Oh, oh no, it's a one. Oh. Can she oh. reroll the one if I spend this XP? Or is that, is that Honestly, a GM The economy of spending XP is so valuable that I will let you spend an XP to get a really? one. Really? Really? Yes. Do it again. Because that's that's player sacrifice and I, I never want to just I need you. Away, so I'll let you reroll the one. Yeah, we need you. It's better, but not. Wait, what was it? What did it have to be? Six, six or better. Oh, I got six! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, by the way, I never gave my intrusion XP, so. Ah. Oh, nice. Oh, Can we just say. Oh, she's getting that one? Use it in good crime. Can we say yeah. Oya missed and then reverse time and then did it again? Right. Well, what yeah. basically <laughs> happens, Oya, is you launch yourself. Yeah, as you're having this moment with uh, with Lacey, you guys are kind of encouraging each other. And then you hear the sound of <laughs> on the deck plates of the ship. And Luma, you turn just in time to look as Oya hurls herself out the back of the Can transport. I throw the, the mic patch at her? It's literally. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> I'm like, I, that's why Ash, are you staying on the ship? Oh, sorry. Who's no, like, listen, I'm going to head closer. That's why no! I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, no. Don't worry, we'll need it later, too. Are we, don't ever lose are we bad superheroes? We are. <laughs> We're bad at this. <laughs> I, um, now I know what kind of superheroes we are. Look, we haven't blown up Stanford yet. We're okay. Oh, yeah, we're boy. Not. Okay. I mean, okay. is that a Civil War reference? We're, we're doing yeah. excellent. Um, we're not that okay. bad. I have a wonderful phone voice. We're the New Warriors. We're doing so well. We're the New Warriors. We're the New Warriors, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't hear Luma going, <laughs> we're not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. You launch yourself <laughs> off, extending your hands. Placenta! <laughs> You extend your hands and literally the, the glow as you begin to accelerate time around you and the warping of 
the like your speed of like the approach of the transport, your <coughs> jump, you essentially slow your jump a little bit in the time around you so the transport catches up to you. And you land on the front of this transport. Y'all watch Oya basically pull a superhuman jump and warp space time and kind of float and to the point where they just make contact with the front of the windshield. You see on the inside, Cass is looking up at you, gasping for air, and she puts her hand on the window as soon as you appear, and your hand is on the window as well, as the two of you kind of make eye contact with each other. This okay. thing is loaded with baddies, and you <laughs> clearly see Jerome. Yep. Um, he's in this position, a very familiar position, mm -hmm. um, and the air on the inside from out here, even with the wind blasting a lot of it out, you can smell this sort of like chlorine, like burning smell on the inside, this chemical smell. Uh, do I get my action now too? Um, action. Was that a move? Oh yeah. I mean, it was a move, but you also used. Yeah, that was a. Uh, no, that would be your full action because a move Why? is because a move is ten feet, and anything more than ten feet is a full can action. Can she make the check to see if she can do both? You can There's definitely make the like, check to see if you can check. do more than that, but it's a difficulty, difficulty four two, roll. Four? Okay. Yeah, if you want to try it. Do I get any? Is it a contextually asset or four? Um, or it's a speed check. I have yep. speed. Yeah, it's a speed check. So if you want to make the speed check, you can. Yeah, your dexterity. Is yeah. this a speed defense check? What is this? Um, it's a movement. It's just, a basis. No, so it's just movement seeing check? if she yeah. can continue and do okay. another uh, action. Well, that's what the things with the shift. Helps so with. it says here that uh, making a move roll. If you move 50 feet, it's one action. If you move 100 feet, it's a speed task difficulty four. So I moved 45 feet. You, you moved for 45 feet, so that's one full action. So you wouldn't get an attack roll or anything like that. Okay. You can get another movement, though. You should come inside. Well. You can move and you can do a short action and move another ten feet, which yes would put you. I want to be ready to swing myself inside. I don't want to be inside because he might poison mm. spray again. That's true. And I don't want to add myself to the. <laughs> he is yeah. Because next up in the initiative is going to be Cass. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump to Cass now. So I'm re I'm like on the edge, ready to lean in when <laughs> okay when my next turn happens. Okay. Cool. All right, Cass. Um, that familiar burning sensation all over the in the air. Your eyes are stinging, but the cough has gone away. You have your action this round. And he looks a little surprised when he sees you go, <coughs> and then look at him. <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Uh, sorry. I know. Sorry. Here's where uh, my plan was to do a recovery roll, but I might wait until, like, with, with four baddies still walking around. This decision is now on record of let's see what happens. Uh, how Cass? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So. I want to take that dude down. I would like to do that from over here. Um, so what's the heaviest thing that I can grab right now? <laughs> Me. I'm not throwing you at him. He's poisonous. No, I, the, you could try. Yeah, don't touch him. <laughs> you I'm could, from you could try. Although next time, let's do that. Um, I mean, these, I are, these are like, these are like really heavy armored tactical, like laced chairs yeah. designed to stop bullets. Yeah. So I would definitely make that like a medium, yeah. a medium weapon. You don't yeah. have to drive anymore. Medium. You could just rip up, excited. you could rip up the passenger seat and throw it Good. at him. Um, I'm literally in your lap now. He should forever. be used to by now. <laughs> um, but uh, I, yeah, I would say it's a difficulty mm -hmm. for uh, like a, not a, a medium weapon. Um, and away. hitting him is going to be, let's see. It would be great if it were heavy. But well, you don't have to give me that. So if you remember the last time, the last time you tore something up and threw it yeah. at somebody, you, you were able to do it because you rolled a nat 20. Yeah. So for your action, I'll let you rem I'll let you tear up this seat and then use it as a weapon the next time you get to attack. Um. Mm. Throw me. I mean, let's let's do it. I'm not throwing you at the poison guy. I'm ready. I want to. If I'm he mad. touches you, you're screwed. It's uh, off the table, Gimli. Stop it. I mean, I love your thinking. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, Wrong campaign. <laughs> okay. I should I'm, not have had water when you were when you were talking. Don't don't drink when Hector's talking. <laughs> no hydrate, Hector. That's what <laughs> no we all hydrate, Hector. <laughs> Okay. Um, tearing this chair up. Okay. So the difficulty to rip this chair out of the flooring is five. Um. Now, is this a strength task? It's a strength task. Yeah. Cool. So that's a three. Boop, boop. Um, here's the problem. We don't have, like, a lot of effort to go around. Mm. So it's a 50-50 shot, and that's how <clears throat> life works sometimes. Mm. Kind of better. Fuck, fuck. 
13! Yeah. Thank you for doing it's this necessary a screeching sword. sound as you tear the metal right out, rip this chair up out of the out of the heat. Controls aren't working control. anyway. I mean, it's the passenger side. Remember, the driver's side has been torn to shit because yeah. it's been shot to hell with the GM intrusion. You just grab the passenger side seat and tear it up. Hops kind of get flops down onto the floor right yep. next to you. But on the, the best side, you're close to prone now, which is going to make it harder to shoot you. Oh, but nice. uh, Cass just rips this thing up out of the ground. You turn towards him, and you see the rage in his eyes when he sees you holding something over your head. Almost Remember like he this, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> All right, that's your action. Um, next up. Uh, that's Amy. So next up is actually going to be Hops. You're on the ground. Yep. You have a round to come I up with a chair-based punch. I am. If you need consultants, I've made one or two. <laughs> Not thinking st- straight. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna go attack him. What are you doing? I'm poke the bear. I'm. You gotta go poke the bear. <laughs> Literally with. I'm. I'm. Poke him with the full, full flip. <laughs> going to attack. Um, using my shock and charge ability as well as wreck because it's with a, a weapon. Okay, so yeah. Um, um, so normally it would get a plus, so difficulty is gonna be eight then. Right. But you're gonna start dropping that down from eight because of yep. your ability. Yep, it'll be down. Martial arts is definitely gonna come into six. play Six, I'm specialized in martial arts. Is that lower at two? That's correct. Ooh, that's four. Uh, down to, um, I'm assuming like, okay. I'm specialized in running. Would running no. to okay. Oh, that this is a martial arts attack, so anything that's going to help you with the. All AI. right, so I got it down to four. Right. Uh, can I spend might? Uh, yes. It's going to cost an extra effort to do that because you mm-hmm. are down to zero we're intellect. Impaired. Mm-hmm. I'm not zero down speed. to zero intellect. Oh, speed. speed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's going to cost three. Correct. Instead of the three. two that normally does, because I have an edge of one. That's correct. Three so you're going to go from seven might to four might. Shoot. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Mm. I got a patch on the wrong <laughs> ship. <laughs> that was, I've got a patch on the wrong ship by Jenna DeVivo. Oh, okay, okay, coming okay. in at number seven on the I'm going to do it. <laughs> I also have a cipher <coughs> in, a, in my Ooh. pocket. Oh, oh, my oh, yeah. coming handy. From the very beginning. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to spin that level. So it's down yep. to three. Yes. Yes. Knock him out Nine or better. Heal him up later. Hit him. Nine or better. Uh, You're using on. wreck. Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm using in, wreck. Would you say you're coming I'm in? I'm basically like a... just Hops has Hops has had a day, and uh, she's just gonna start, you know, just start screaming. She's basically gonna move you out of the way, you, okay. you know, and just go, Wah! you know, just scream and run at him and just okay. and just aim. I just want to, I just want him down. Make your roll. So three or better. So you need a. Yeah. a okay. So nine. <sighs> That's it? an upside down nine. That's a six. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Speed speed. Speed. <laughs> and now we are down to Why? nine. I or think better. I need to retire all of my dice. That's a ten. I did. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, how much damage is that going to be? Thirteen damage. Thirteen. Ooh. But you now have zero XP. No, I don't. I had two. Oh, you. But did. I just oh, didn't okay. add that one on there. Okay. Yeah. More intrusion. More intrusion. I'm not saying, but I'm gonna wait right now. Okay. Uh. So yeah. You get burn, up struck, baby, burn! The electrical yeah. popping sound, almost like a live wire has just made connection with something that it's conducted to, just pop! You all hear it like ringing in your ears as Hops just runs up there and slams her staff into this guy's chest. Right where there's I burned sh- him last time. There's a shouting sound right. as you kind of sear away the prison clothes around his chest, exposing his skin. Um, there's that s- sort of s- smell of burned skin as you shock him that, right in the center, right where you hit him the first time. Yeah. And he, you hear this kind of drops back a little bit, and then he looks up at you through clenched fists. Oh my god. Oh. And he looks very, very unhappy. So am I. <laughs> so am I. Uh, that's gonna be, the next up is Hector. So you have just dropped down here. You've just watched all this happen. You're coming back out of this, like the ball to like protect yourself from the attack. You heard that shocking sound. You look up and you see Hops is standing right in front of this guy, having a fight with him. There are still, by the way, uh, three other. They're out. Yep. Let me mark that down. I forgot to kill that. Mad guy. boot, jack boots. Yep. There are still. Uh, no. There's. There's uh, four. Four. Four other guys. Hail, make still it five. I thought there were three. I thought there five. were three. Nope. I thought one was There's unconscious. Nope. Remember, you guys were attacked four times last round. Uh, so it was five with the one on top. Mm-hmm. Now. Four. Oh, I okay. thought it was four total. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The guy on the top has been oh. removed. The guy in the driver's seat has been removed. Um, there are four left. Oh, okay. Can I tell from looking at Dr. Jerome if there's anything on his person 
that it could activate his force field. What does his force field look like? No, it doesn't look like it. No, he, okay. he is, it looks like the only thing that's on his body right now um, are a smoking pair of chains around his wrist, like the cuffs. Mm. They're smoking because the electricity just got channeled through them, burning the skin around his wrist. He also has a, uh, chains around his legs, which are, by the way, still connected. So he's still locked into the ship. He's can't. He can't. He's not locked into the ship, but he's not running anytime soon. He can move, but he's he's restricted. He cannot do like long movement. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, would Anton know how to reactivate this force field and make him like safe for transport again? Is the force field locked into a section or, of the ship, or is it's it in a the personal? Back, it's in the back, and for all for everything you can tell, it looks like nothing in the back looks like it's been damaged. It looks like it's just the guards. So if he's thrown back there, the guards are taken out. That force field can be reactivated, and then we're hunky dory. You could technically, theoretically, put him back in his cage. Yes. But what's to keep the bad guys from just undoing it again and pulling being him out alive of the force field? Conscious. Being alive. Mm. And you got to get him in there. Okay. Um, so where am I in relation to uh, to if, him? Do you want? Do you want? Us, do you want insight? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do want, want that. Okay, I so do want that. Spend three points of intellect. I got plenty that of spare. That you can do. Yeah. Count here. Spare. Ed Edge does not discount this. It is just a straight through. You got it. Spare. So I'm going to go from 18 to 15. So it is totally possible to get him back in his cage. That thing is working. But Anton, this tactically is very dangerous for everyone in here. Mm -hmm. You guys are in close quarters with a guy who does area attacks with poison mm -hmm. every round. Mm -hmm. And you've got four other guys in here who are heavily armed. Mm -hmm. Right now, even with the three of you guys in here, and e now Oya is going to be in here too, it's going to get really crowded really fast, and it's going to become a meat grinder <coughs> for everyone, what? not just you guys. Wait, yeah. what? where's meat grinder? Um, he's getting insight he spends into insight, how so I'm we giving are right him, now. We're in spent, the meat grinder. He spent insight, so I'm giving him a tactical overview of the yeah. situation. In close quarters with a guy who does area effect poison attacks every round. Right. And there's four heavily armed people. Everyone jumping into this transport to have a fight, it's going to turn into a meat grinder. Yes. It's going to mm. it's going to be unsafe for you. It's going to be unsafe for him. Like Got it. it's going to be a brawling mm. like all out violent melee. My Sherlockian analysis is a whiff fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a door, like you load the prisoner in through the door in the back of the transport, yeah? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So if that door were open, you'd get, I don't know, airflow? Oh yeah. Okay. Also a clear shot. Just asking for a friend. So. Who has cost you? Uh, so <laughs> so uh, I will give you this though. Mm -hmm. um, the airflow will certainly increase the difficulty of him being able to use area of effect attacks with the gas, for sure. Cool. Touch attacks won't count. Right. And you'll still have to roll defense when he uses his ability. But yes, airflow would definitely change. Airflow would help and give Kostya a clear shot. Yeah. Cool. Okay, good to know, thank you. Quick narrative question. Does does, does the prisoner transport have a windshield still? It does still have a windshield. Okay. The side but windows are what we broke. The side, side windows. windows. Yes, because Cass yeah, decided to great. say hello. Yes, I, oh, did, I, I, I didn't know oh, oh, right. that. Yeah. Right. I, I knew when the low broke, I just didn't know which one. Salutations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thick security windows, and hey. hops went through them like they were nothing. <laughs> so, here's right. what I'm sure. What I'd like to try to do, tell me if it's possible, physically possible. Sure, what's up? I'm not thinking about the back of the transport being open. That would be smart, but I'm, like you're saying, I'm trapped in this meat but grinder. But I, I will give that to you, because if, if you're burning points for insight, I can mm -hmm. give you ideas or answer questions. So I'm like, oh, the back of the <clears throat> transport could be so open. If you're like, how can, I, I told you the tactical situation, and if you're asking for a solution, I can give you, you can, I'll let you have, yeah, you could open the back of the transport, because that would allow, uh, Kashi Kashi can actually Kashi. get Kashi. take Kashi out bad guys. Finally get, yes, Kashi can actually get into the fight. But here. we're trying to keep Dr. Jerome alive. It's true, and you don't know what he's going to do when that back of that door opens either. But he is chained to the transport, so he's even if he's going to the transport, tip, he'll fall out. His, he, his legs mm, are chained together. His legs are chained together, so he can't make any running actions. Got it. But he, he cannot oh, okay. take a long run action. He can only move short, medium. Oh, I mean, okay. him falling out would probably kill Good him. Good to know. He'd That'll probably just fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. We I, also have several vehicles to pick him back up. Mm. But Here's what yeah. I'd like to try. Tell me if it's possible. <laughs> wherever Dr. Jerome is, wherever Anton is, I want to sort of roll and maybe coil and aim myself to put myself uh, where the, Dr. Jerome is in between me and the back of the transport where that little force field is, and I want to spring, kick him back there. And if he flies past bad guys, he flies past bad guys, but then he lands in the back of the transport to where maybe a force field could be activated at some point okay. after that. Could that be physically possible? So like it a is possible. Yes. It is possible, but you're going to have to trade damage for effect. Right. Okay. 
and you're gonna have to do enough damage to get that effect, and that's usually three points of damage. So instead of doing damage, I'm just gonna have to turn it into an effect, which so is to knock him back. If yeah. you want to, if you want to, so you're gonna run up to him and strike him and try to move him into that cage again. Or roll, but strike him, yes, yes. So to move past him is gonna be a roll onto itself, but if you wanna just run up and hit him and try to knock him back into the cage, mm -hmm. you can do it, but you're gonna have to do at least three points if because, you hit him. Because as it stands right now, to clarify, if he's standing here, I'm over here, and the trans the back of the transport's behind me. Is that what you're saying? So I need to like no. get on this side of him to kick him back over no, that way. Back of the transport's behind him. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to kick him. Okay. Hmm. I just want to kick him. All right. Why can I be used as an asset since I since my staff is probably still embedded in his chest? You cannot have anything <coughs> to do with this role. Okay. Mm. I was trying to help. On, on your action, you okay. might have been able to declare an assist, but you've taken action. Well, other than you have helping as a free action, though. And you know martial arts. Oh, Seems like a practical yes, for kicking. Yes, it is. I would, uh, if you were going to do this, I'm going to enable you, because oh. I can. Uh, is that an ability? You, it's, yes, it's the passive enabler. Last time, yeah. Oh, I can okay. use helping rules to provide a bit of it to another character <coughs> attempting a physical task. It requires no action on my part. So you could lower a martial arts check, like kicking a dude yep. by one. So what you could say is narratively, you just kind of like move your staff as you see Anton coming, knowing what yeah. Anton's about to do. You bring the back of the staff against the back of his knees to put him about on balance. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, all right. Not so you. he is. Know, him. <laughs> so this That's is going to be. Dr. So you're trying to make it easier for Anton to hit. Right. Now remember, you can spend effort for damage, Anton, but you have to declare any effort spends before a roll. Because a standard unarmed attack, I think, does two damage unless you are cast. Uh, which won't get us to three, so. I have to spend an effort. A pre-declared effort spend yes. would. I'll do that. Okay. I'll, sp I'll spend one effort in what, might? It would be a might check, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'll go might. from seven to six. And then we can't use the No, 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 the difficulty the does not go, the difficulty doesn't go down from that. No, I meant, I, no, no, my, I'm tr tr keeping track of my, yeah. my oh, okay. points. We're, might. we're hurt. Cool. Okay, <laughs> so. six. So I am doing that, so it will do three effect damage to kick him. And okay. now I'd like to kick him, please. Okay. What's the difficulty? The difficulty to hit him is seven. Seven. Six with my assist. Six with Boom, bunny. down to six. Are we being helped by Luma or is she helping defense right now? Uh, she's defense. helping defense. Okay. I am trained in Very physical good. attacks. Yeah. Okay, that'll okay. drop it. So that's down five. to five. Yep. Um, I would like to use um, one of my power shifts, which is accuracy, so all attack rolls are also, the difficulty goes down one. Okay. So that's four. Mm -hmm. um, does this, would this be movement acrobatics? No. Okay. Um, I would like to use my other power shift, which is anytime I use my stretchy power, because my legs are gonna do a coiling thing. Okay. So that's down to three. Okay. Oh wait, no, it says not an attack. That's only oh, when I'm using my stretch power, so attack. up okay. to four. So it's still four. Um, mm -hmm. And I would like to use uh, the, um, the asset of my fluid synth skin suit, because I'm stretching my legs as an asset to help me yep. do that. Down to three. Yeah. Nine or better. Yes, okay. Mickey Blade. Okay, no XP of my own to spend. Here we go. I got you. Two. Oh, oh, I, got you. I have one. I got you. No, 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 just use mine. Uh, okay. Oof. Okay. Oya, oh, yeah. assist. What is wrong with our dice rolling? Really? What's it's funny? Not... Eric, what's funny? I just, the, the Shut build, up. What's funny? The build up and then the dry <laughs> delivery was just priceless. Two. Nine or better. Fifteen. Oh, right. That's better. That's, That's better. Much better. I did it. It's a hit. So you watch Anton sort of like yoga pose, stretch back, and then send his leg forward in a spiral, just kind of coils up and springs forth, hits him right in the center of the chest again in that sensitive spot where he's been zapped twice. Lol at your The air leaves his lungs. How much damage total do you do? Um, I don't know. It's an unarmed I... attack, so it does... It would normally do two, two but I did. And then pre-declared. Right, yeah, pre-declared, so... so five total, but three of that goes to a new attack. <coughs> so he takes two points of damage, okay. which means he takes none. Bonus, I don't care. That's so. Fine. Armor soaks it up, just his, his resiliency, just it hits him. You hear the air leave his chest though, and he goes tumbling back. The chains <gasps> catch as Hops kind of hits the back of his knee as yeah. he's going backwards. Um, he trips backwards and stumbles, manages to keep his foot as you hear the chains pulling against each other. A few of the minions like step aside, don't bother to try to catch them, they're just kind of watching go, and he goes tumbling back towards that, that, uh, that cage, right inside of it, just <laughs> slams up against the wall. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so that's Hector's nice move, man. That is Anton's round. Now we are their round, and Kotschi, what are you going to do? So, situation is this. We have Emilia in the front. We have this transport. Mm -hmm. They're actually quite close together. Mm -hmm. And then we have me back here. And you're actually quite camp. close as well at this point. Yes. Back of the transport is not open. That's correct. The side window is And the front in. of the transport is open. 
And the front, the front of the of the, yeah, the essentially the, the driver's front. side window. <clears throat> okay, but this driver's side is at the front, and all the foes are at the back. Mm -hmm. And in the front is your teammates or your associates, rather. Uh, the side window. Am I able to? So I'll sort of come up to the side. Am I able to draw a bead on anyone through the side window? Um, on no. There's the only people you're going to be able to. So I'll give you this. The only people you're going to be able to see through the side windows are your are the Callisto Six. That doesn't do me much good. Um, there's there's right now there are two open entry points. There's the side window and the gun turret on the top. Oh yeah. Gun turret on the top. The transport is big. Like I could theoretically. It's like a school bus. It's an armored school bus that's flying in the sky. And my car is Fully. not so big, so yeah. I could uh, land my car on the roof of the transport, activate like maglock or whatnot. To yeah. Go. Okay. Yeah, I'd let that to go. Attach it. Piloting check. Yes. I'd say make a piloting check. Uh, what is um, difficulty? Difficulty <laughs> trying to land a car on top of this thing. I'm going to set the difficulty at four. Four, so that is 12. And then uh, the car itself is an asset, so down to. Car is an asset, so it'll drop right. down to three. Your eye is an asset, that's huh. down to two. Yes, you say yeah. you take my eye as an asset. I am doing like no, doing it's lots of targeting. calculations for me. No, <laughs> no I did that's a targeting it's thing. Right. Heart of gold asset down to two. <laughs> what about this? Oh, oh yes, it's like a driving glove. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> Robot hand down no, to one. I'd no, no, no. I still say so. No, that's Extreme fair. pandering that's fair. to you. No? That is fair. So nine or better. Thirteen. Yeah. Better. You all feel this. <laughs> okay. Sensation. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, hey. you're on the top of this thing and you look up and you see a very familiar car just and the door to the side of this thing opens. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially your action, so you get to move. You can step out of the car if you want. Yeah, and the, obviously moving towards the turret. Okay, so Gosh, stepping out of the God. car. I, I just, yelled that out. I'm like, okay. my God, it's Gosh G. Step out of the car like a boss. And you just kind of probably hear a similar sound to uh, the magnetic boots that these guys have on yeah. as I walk. Yeah, there's sort of this servo sound every time Kochi, Kochi moves. You hear this. He just steps out, check to see if your gun's loaded. Mm -hmm. I have fully... only fired one bullet. Uh, so what, right. is, what is my clip size, by the way? So ammo in this game, actually, you don't. it specifically sets for narrative purposes. You don't have to keep track of it. The only time it becomes an issue is if I throw a GM intrusion at you or you roll a one, then I can trigger that. Very well. I'm pretty yeah. sure you're loaded. Yes, I probably is fully loaded. I've shot, I mean, drive loaded. I shot one bullet that killed the guy. So yes. Yeah, I don't need to read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, for your move action, I'll let you. You won't be able to drop down, but you can move up to the gun turret at the front of the transport. Good. And uh, <laughs> perhaps just because this thing may be crashing soon, uh, I'll just do a car. Uh, so uh, what would it be? Follow mode. So basically, it's just going yes, to Michael. disengage. <laughs> sure. And it's tracking me. Okay. Because it will, it will keep close to me. Kind of pulls back, but it stays within like a jumping range of the transport. Um, yeah, and you just you. So anybody who's looking or keeping tabs on what's going on, like Luma, you you're yeah. you're, you're still like looking back down the yeah. the path of transport. Yeah, you see, I just I'm, I'm literally like up front, just being like, what's going a, on? You see a very familiar cyborg walking towards the top front of the truck and just like Gosh, checking he's on his gun. Thing now, <laughs> just he's got some hair whipping food. around his face oh. as he just kind of casually walks up to the gunnery turret. <laughs> Looks so cool. <laughs> oh, now, now his car's going. Oh, his car's following him. I love his car. <laughs> oh no. Um, so that's gonna be your round. It's now their action. Okay. Uh, All right. So this we're is gonna where the start. Meat we're gonna start starts. with them. Um, Boo. so. Mm. Anton. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to make. Yeah. Four defense checks. Why? Four? Quick question. Because they are all opening fire on the guy who just kicked the boss in the chest. Are either of them in immediate range of me? Actually, you know what? <coughs> How about this thing? I was about to say, can I help? Hold on one sec. Can I assist with him on this? Um, no, we're gonna keep the same. We're gonna keep the same one as last time. Uh, so not four. What was that? I'm sorry, Amy. Are is he within immediate range of me? How big is this ship? Uh, Anton's about 10 feet away from you. So okay. He's a short move away. Tier two ability protector. You designate a single character to be your charge. You can change this freely every round, but you can only have one charge at a time. It does not take an action. As long as that charge is within immediate range, he gains an asset for speed defense tasks because you have his back. Okay. So, so then, I'm just gonna be very distracting. Uh, so make, I need you to make a difficulty eight defense roll. I'm sorry, six, six. <laughs> difficulty since six defense roll. Me? Oh yeah. Goodness. Four different times? No, 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 just twice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just twice. Just twice. So, uh, speed defense. Hmm? Speed defense. Task difficulty six. Twice. Difficulty six. Can I um, also use my enable others on this? If I'm, because I'm assuming I'm very close to him as I'm, well. I, I, I could be wrong, but I think you can only use that once around. Mm, it doesn't specify. It just says enable. As a passive. It requires no action on your part. It's an enabler. 
It, it doesn't require an action on your part. Sam, you can use uh, the, uh, what, what is the ability called? Uh, it's called enable others. Mm -hmm. The uh, can it requires that no action again on your part. to help? Yeah, it's a passive. Because okay. it once per round or just any time you need it ever. Uh, the, the, she it didn't she, say in According the book, to the help rules. Okay. Great. Okay. I don't, I don't so, have all of those memorized. Six, I can look it up if you need me to. Because I'm assuming if they're you. opening fire and I'm so there, six, I can five, like push so, him out of the way for one or... So know. what does that do? It gives him a plus one bonus to his roll? It, it lowers the difficulty. By one Arkansas, step? I don't know. It just says enable others. I provide a benefit to another character attempting a physical task. You so. are more trained than he is at speed defense, so they exactly. should lower his difficulty by one. Yeah. That's okay. an assist. So that's yeah. an assist. Amy's thing helps too. Uh, yes. That's correct. It gives you a negative one difficulty to roll. So yes, so six, five, four, so you're down to four. Okay, and then I have a defense task. I'm trained in defense tasks so as well. So that's three. down to three. And um, uh, would this be considered a dexterity thing? It's a speed defense. The defense yeah. is going to supersede that. Speed defense. Speed defense. You're already getting that. Yeah, you're already oh, getting it. Oh, got it. Unless that was a separate one. Did yeah, you well, no, I haven't counted this yet. I've okay, only counted this one. Defense so defense. I guess speed, okay, so then I'm trained in that as well, so then that's down to two. Um, cool, so I have to roll a six or better. Okay. To get to avoid being hit. <laughs> 20. Woo! -hoo! Whoa! Okay, um, for 20, uh, I'm guy. going to say that they both miss you. Okay, yeah. great. So you only have to roll once. Cool. I make a cool. 20. I make a cool weird shape, and then I hide behind the chair. And Origami. So as that, as this is happening, um, hops just with your incredible speed. Yeah. You actually swing your your bow staff down, and you just see some of these plasma explosion goes right off the top, almost like you deflected a bullet. Anton, you kind of move aside, and Cass rushes up and puts the seat in front of all of you. And <laughs> What? This gunfire just erupts across the Kevlar, like back of this plasma burning across the back of the seat, and both miss. And now I need Cass to make a defense roll. I turn to Cass uh, and I go, Thanks for chairing. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Uh, take 10 points of intellect. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Please take uh, a seat. So Cass, uh, Hops Cass jumps out the window. <laughs> difficulty six. So I double checked the helping rolls. It kind of just works like a paladin aura. Cool. Awesome. So it's, cool, it's cool. a free universal constant spam. Awesome. Yeah. Then use the hell out of it mm -hmm. whenever you I can. Will. Yeah. Just, oh. you are the melee fan. I'm enabling all of you. Let's nice. go. Oh, For physical nice. tasks only, but yeah. Hey, that's, okay. that's you're, what I'm good at. That's what I'm good at. Great. <clears throat> so speaking of which, uh, yep. six goes to four from my own speed defense stuff. Mm -hmm. Is your Three from help from oh, cops. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Uh, it's defense two still, from yeah. Luma. Uh, two? Sorry, it goes down from three to two sorry. based on Luma's help. Sorry. Uh, I did say two from Luma. That is a confusing way to put that. That's okay. I'll um, take two. So I need a six or better. Okay, roll. <laughs> seven! Thought it was Ooh. a one. It's not a one. Oh. It's a seven. Once again, oh. shells flying everywhere as plasma fire bur just burns up the, the air. Um, you got. Uh, Oh yeah, it's it's spooky from just your side because you can see the gunfire coming straight at you and impacting on the window in front of you. Not you can see little bitty like webbed cracks forming from the bulletproof glass on the other side as these burning plasma rounds smash into the window right in front of you, shooting at all of your friends, trying to kill them. Um hops. I need you to make a defense roll. Difficulty is six. Okay. Uh goes down to two or four. I do, basically, yeah. yeah. For my speed defense. Um no, uh, no. I can't enable myself, I guess, so. No. <laughs> sure, so four. No, and then no. I'm fast, would that help me? No. Is my chair shielding her? Yeah, can I use the chair as a, as a asset? asset? Mm, not really, that was just flavor to protect it, it wasn't a dick. That's fair. So. I had to ask. So yeah. four, all right. Um. Yep. All right, make your roll. Hold on. You need 12 or better. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think I can spend anything. I can do this. Seventeen. Oh. Nice. Wow. We're just. You're, you're rolling it where it counts. If nothing else, more gun We are terrible superheroes. Yes, we're yeah. very incompetent superheroes. Uh, we're on his round. We're learning. Yeah. And Zoya's done some real dope stuff. Yeah. I just had to roll one. That was right. This table. <laughs> you jumped. From a ship yeah. to yeah. another ship, yeah. 80 feet away. I could have just waited. Yeah. <laughs> Pops has been lightning Cass twice. Cass would not have just waited. <laughs> I know, mean, right? Fair. No, he didn't. Fair point. Pops has been uh, On his round. Did you see Anton's placenta? He moves forward. <laughs> He's going to move forward 10 feet. <laughs> so he actually leaves the confines of the cage. Oh. Oh. He just kind of shuffles up and. 
now that we know it's coming, can I hold my, can we hold our breath? Like, can that be, because we know it's gonna come now. Like, yeah. The last time was a surprise. Uh, yes, but it, think of it like this way. Imagine getting hit with a canister of mustard gas. Holding your breath is not gonna help you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Right. It's, gonna get in, it's gonna get into your lungs, it's gonna get into your, 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 your eyes, it's gonna get into your ears. Like, it's not, it's, it, this, this, this attack, causes the coughing, but it does not specify that holding your breath is actually, it's, this is an mm. area of effect attack. Okay. It's a contact toxin. So I need it's everyone, I need everyone to make a might defense roll difficulty is seven. Difficulty eight for me. Mm -hmm. So that's Cass, Pops, and Anton. Difficulty seven. Seven, down to six. Mm. Yeah, I can get it down. I can get it down to six. That's it for me. Oh. Hmm. Can I use uh, an asset? Eric, can I use my suit as an asset? I think I'm gonna reverse my rule. Okay. Hmm. What's your rule? W what's, what's the rule you're reversing? Yeah. What's going on? Bad rule or good? I'm gonna rule? reverse that. You don't have to be nice to us. We can all. No, it, it actually specifies. It doesn't say that, that that actually helps, but it does actually characterize it as an inhalant. Okay. Which I think would totally come into effect. So I tell you what I'll do is because it's an area. The area of effect attack specifically talks about it is not a contact. It is an inhalant. Mm. Mm. So mm. for those of for so for anybody who has the economy in action left to take a deep breath, since you do know it's coming, I'll allow it. We just done the, stuff. We just all hit our action. <laughs> then, I mean, I picked up a chair. Yeah, Next time. Next time. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. pick up a chair. Give me time to do the thing. Yeah. You, you you didn't. I mean, you didn't just pick up a chair though. You but, tore a chair free from. <laughs> but here's the thing. My endurance is an actual, just a special ability. Like, so it's just any duration dealing with physical actions is either doubled or halved. Whichever is better for me. But the action so, of taking. But, so but you, you're out of action economy to take this. To, uh, to do, so it just doesn't just happen. Like my we body's just, just like, like, oh, it's just. just just to balance out the ruling, I'm gonna say that if you want to defend yourself against the area of attack, you have to specify bef uh, like on your round. Got it. This round, I'm taking a deep breath and I'm holding it. Yep, okay. Um, the exertion from like running up and hitting this guy and zapping him and whatnot, it's kind of like the adrenaline's going. Okay. Here it comes. So I need yep. everyone to make the my defense roll. Difficulty is seven. Mm -hmm. Well, I can bring it down to a six, but then I'm gonna have to roll an 18, aren't I? Yeah, six. Yeah. Can I get it down to five? We both somehow? get uh, one from Luma. Defense still? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Down Defense to five. five. And you're at six. Mm -hmm. You went from eight to six. Um, I don't crap. have the points to spend, so I think I just gotta hope for an 18 or better. Same. No, you get a 15 or better. Yeah. This is level five for you. Uh, it does, I don't know how to get it to five. Because oh. of Luma. But how did it, it down get to, to six? Because it's now a seven, because it's just aerial. It is seven. 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 And then six. From what? From, uh, oh. Yeah. How did you get it down? He's. Spending, I think. Uh, no, I went from a seven to I have defense tasks. Oh, okay. uh, to a six. Smart. Plus that Thank goes you. to five. All right, make your rolls. Five. Okay. Um, and we're at six. eighteen or better. Fuck it. Sixteen. Almost made it. Almost uh, made it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend some might. Okay. That's two. Two effort, right? Uh, yeah. If you're gonna spend two levels of effort, yeah, spend some. How much damage do I take? Uh, let's get Hector's roll here. I had spent. So now I'm at a four. I have one might point left, but I Twelve or better. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. What a good shit us. <laughs> Was it a one? It's a three. It's a three, okay. Um, mm. uh, That's so not it's going to be. It's all good. Okay. So it's going to be seven points of speed damage. I'm already at zero. Then this is going to your might. I'm at zero. Yeah, we are both debilitated. Um, my speed is now zero. I'm so, asleep. Okay. Good night. Ah, you're so, not yet, but you're okay. impaired. So, Hold up. so you hit zero again. Is that Wait, correct? Yes, but and can I, I use my cipher? <gasps> what is it? On your action. Oh. Unless, unless it specifies otherwise, yeah. Um, so Bonnie's so, at a double zero. I'm at so one zero. So what are you what are you at? I'm also double zero, debilitated. Dang. Okay. Well, wait, so wait, if it's seven so, points, does that mean we it takes seven, but if I only if I didn't have an, enough points in might, it goes oh, to zero yes. and then the, the extra goes into the re what's rest? Yes. Because if, if you so so you hit I zero. I am now completely at zero. On you drop the three three zeros. I am I am completely. Wait, talk out. to us about the no. over damage. No. Hold on. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, time out. I was no. at, I was at zero speed. Hold True. on, guys. Four might, 
two intellect points. And mm-hmm. she took seven and points. And I just took seven damage. points. So, so when I four. said negative one before, it should have come out of my next pool. When you when you said negative before, yes. So when you hit zero in a pool, if there's any damage left over, it immediately spills into the next pool. Oh. I'm well, then in that out. case, I'm, I'm not dead, speed. though. Am I dead? Should I start creating another character? Is this what we're, we're, we're I'm doing? I'm sure that's kind of what that means. I'm dead? No, there's, some, there's a thing. I, if zeros, someone wants to... Triple no. zeros in this game are... Is death? death. We just missed that. I wasn't so aware of that. <laughs> he steps forward and goes, <sighs> the the toxin immediately again, it enters the entire inside of the cabin. Mm. Um, hops, you see it coming just, <gasps> but as you inhale to try to stop it, you actually take a gulp of it as it comes out. You mm. hear the screams of your teammates as this blistering fog begins to enter the interior of the transport. Um, what are you at, Cass? Uh, if I go back and do my math properly from the last one, then uh, I was at might two, uh, which goes down to a zero and takes seven points off my intellect, which leaves me intellect two. Holy sh! Um, I can't move. I am trained in healing. <laughs> if I, if you can get, get my, my cipher turn? thing out of my pocket, or so. <sighs> I'm just what gonna immediately smart. happens is you. I finally get to take a nap. As this exhale comes out, you actually hear Hops go. <gasps> ah! She just kind of pitches forward, Ugh. and there's this horrible sound as she starts clawing at her throat for a second. And there's this terrifying moment where her eyes meet yours, Anton, like she's begging you for help. And then her eyes roll into the back of her head, and she collapses to the ground. Okay, um, we can't. The rest of you all have taken your damage. <coughs> um, that's it for the for that round. It is now. Uh, Lacey. Okay. So, th- because this is a prison transport, I imagine it work. It has something somewhat like a modern metro bus with a camera, so that the driver can see what's going on behind them. Because yes, I currently run the bus, in here. I can see mm-hmm. the state of the back seat. I will totally allow that. Yeah. I would like. Uh, all, there are a bunch of jack boots, and they have mag boots. Jerome does not, so if I tip the transport back, I can knock Jerome to the back of the transport and then get the force fields up on him. Yes. All right. Yes, you could do that. I'd like to make a dope piloting roll, please. Okay. Mm. And I have uh, my meg feet, so I'll just be sort of standing yep. like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. You're going to look exceedingly cool. I didn't know it spilled over. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is going to be really died. tricky, but yes. this is what you do. Um, uh-huh. so, uh huh. Difficulty is going to be seven. Okay. Holding your hands down. All right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make your roll. Um, and I'm going to let you. We'll, we'll get to that in a second, but it's but it's going to come with cost in order to activate the force field. Fine. Um, and also, I'm going to do a GM intrusion here. Activating the force field will contain him. It's going to take all the power out of what's left in the engines. It will not send this thing plummeting, but it will send it down. Mm. It's not going to fall out of the sky, but it's going to start losing altitude quickly. So it can't go like this. If it pull, when the it pulls, the idea it would be stalling. You out. guys, I gave you guys four more rounds before the before the mm. fuel was going to start running out. Mm. We're on round two. Mm. So my my GM intrusion is going to state that if you pull this maneuver going straight up like this, knocking about and activating the force field, it's going to eat that juice. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be cruel and just throw you guys to the ground, but it's going to cause the ship to lose its altitude, and you guys are going to start to plummet. It will not be. Just think of it as a hard landing. It's not. You're not gonna. It's not like a crash. Got it. No. Take my XP. And no. Okay. Because no we forward. have someone who's <laughs> already about to die. I'm not going to let you kill them with fall damage. Oh, I think I'm dead. Okay. Jim and no, is overridden. You're not. No. Too bad. <laughs> Deal with being alive. Now, I have a difficulty seven piloting roll to make. Yep. Um, it's, make your roll. it's a tech use check, so uh, that's that's six. Um, assuming I can use two baby in my computer. Mm hmm. Cool. Um, and I expend a level of effort. Bam. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to spend four intellect points. Okay. And that'll activate the, the force field. All right, I do. Um, uh, Not today, Satan. <laughs> uh, so I need Anton and I need Cass and I need Oya to all make athletics checks. <coughs> I mean, okay. All right. I have a speed of zero. <laughs> you, you can still make an athletics check. Great, you just have a good, pool. just. Yeah. 
And the uh, aim the... just sort of stuck to the ship, so I just, what? Are athletics and acrobatics <laughs> different? What's that? Are athletics and acrobatics You different? can totally use ath- uh, acrobatics here. Okay. This is essentially to catch yourself as this transport suddenly stalls in midair. What's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty of this is going to be four. Okay. Four. I'm knocking that down with my power of stretchiness down to three, my dexterity movement acrobatics down to two, and uh, 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 that's it. I have acrobatics, movement, and speed. Can I use all those? Uh, yes. So then mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. difficulty of one. I got an eight. <laughs> I needed a nine above and I got a 14. I got a 19, I'm fine. Okay. okay. I'm assuming that my body's with a, going with With, with a 19, I'll let you grab hops. Thanks. I was Minor about to say, effect. am I gonna be in the cage? <laughs> Your arms no. wrap around hops. You can tell how bad it is because hops does not hold on to their staff and everyone who's got these mag boots suddenly leans back you see Jerome once again just go hurling back. This time he slams into the back of the ship. And you see his head rebound against the back. Kachi, I need you also to make a, this is gonna be any kind of athletics check. Athletics, I have athletics. Okay, uh, I, these four, so it's gonna drop down to three. And then the boots. Uh, the boots also have, <laughs> is this my first You got the boots, so that's gonna give you a plus two, so it's gonna drop three, so you, it's just a, uh, so you need a one. You need a three or better on a d20. Three or better on d20. I also have extra edge in might and speed. You're probably, this is not actually gonna, with those boots, you're, it's not possible for you to fall off. This is just to see if you manage to not bang your head or you like slash or neo. 60, oh. I'm good. Okay, nice. you manage to adjust as suddenly this thing banks straight up into the air and stalls. Um, you see Oya looking down at you as you guys bank up. Um, like- Jerome goes into the cage and you all watch as this thing goes, this glow activate. Um, and just as it activates, the, the repulsors, the jet repulsors at the bottom of the transport goes, and they struggle and stay on. Mm. <laughs> um, however, the ship has stalled. You guys don't have enough inertia to actually climb and you've done a dead pull straight up. So the transport basically is doing this and it's gonna take a freaking swell piloting check next round because what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna go straight up like this and then just start to fall straight down. Or we're gonna kick the burners up and do a roller coaster loop. <laughs> okay, um, so that's Lacey, now we are at Luma. Uh-huh. Um, so where is where are we in relation to this now? Falling uh, ship. You're actually pulling away from it now. That, we're here uh-huh. and it's yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, we're in front of it. It just we're stalled in front and... of it. So you can look or look behind and see them immediately behind us. Yeah. You They're can see the belly us. of the ship if you look behind. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's ra- you guys are rapidly pulling away from it right now. Right. That won't help. Okay. Um. I'm gonna keep encouraging your defense and. Are you still on the outside of it? Mm-hmm. I'm on the windshield. Which I can't see anymore, because you're now up there. Okay. Maybe you, maybe you can see my feet? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Request. Mm-hmm. May I spend, um, my XP for my karma ability to gain the aid of a stranger, and can that be in the form of some sort of medical bot on board or that sort of jam for hops? (laughs) What are you spending for that? Uh, It's my karma ability, gain the aid of a stranger. A bot would be a stranger that I don't know, and I imagine a sort of transport ship with prisoners and, um, like, military people would have some sort of... As an automated, no, you don't die that easy? Yeah, you can't attack a guard or this or that that I could activate. Yes. Cool, I do that. Narratively, that makes sense. (laughs) It absolutely makes sense. Okay. Um, Okay. XP. I know. (laughs) You'll live. Uh, So right as you guys hit the apex of this stall, you hear this, do not be afraid, human. 
this hovering bot moves out from the side and immediately starts to slide back down the ship and kind of says, I will be with you momentarily as it begins to slide right past you and hops. This thing looks very almost retro sci-fi, kind of has that 50 Jetsons. style, almost like, yeah, kind of like a conical, like uh, lower body. And I'm picturing something without the hovering limbs and head. It looks something very close to like Eva from Wally. Mm. It has this sort of like dome-like head that is attached to a very bulbous white body that has a I red cross body. written across from it as it activates Eva. detecting somebody in distress. Um, cool. It moves over and what does this does? It just, it's it's just aid to a stranger. So for its action. aid to a stranger, you can determine the nature. Okay. Um, because this thing is actually hovering off the ground, it manages to sort of right itself and literally hover in the air as you're clinging onto hops looking at this thing. Um, and you just see its eyes go Everyone is kind of enraptured with this device that just comes out of the wall for a second. This is like the wall just slides open and this bot has emerged. It hovers in front of hops and goes scans and says, stand by, please move back. And you see its chest open and paddles come out. Um, hops, by the way, skin, veins begin to show and through her face, her skin is changing a completely different color. Mm -hmm. It's becoming this sort of sick greenish blue color all across the top of her face. And says, lethal levels of toxicity have been detected. And you see a couple of just like <laughs> an array open up <laughs> of syringes come out the side and on the other side, transfusions may be necessary as it comes forward and sticks the paddles on Hops his chest, and then the infu you just see these needles. One slides into Hops, and the other one slides into the other side, and says, "Stand by as I scan your blood type." And this is all happening. Um, uh, Great, I, I, and I continue to take my you also my encouragement. You also and see there there is a monitor, a visual monitor, as it connects to Hops that shows life signs, and it's flatlined as it's attached to Hops. Um, and I barely managed to squeak out a. Bring her back. Um, okay, that's wicked play there, Tina. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've been I've been rereading my abilities like a wicked, billion times. Wicked play. Now. Um, we are at the top of the round. We are one round away from when that transport loses its juice. Okay. Um, you did not take the GM intrusion, so it's going to be at a standard difficulty. However, this round, um, the transport is going to start dropping out of the, the sky. Literally most piloting check. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lisa. <laughs> You are well positioned on top of this thing. Now, Jerome is contained now. There are still four active baddies in this room. Uh, do we know the effects that that had on hops? I mean- You were there. We were I mean, there last you, time, yeah. Let, no, actually, mm -hmm. yeah, Oya, you, you, rem you remember that Jerome has that toxin. Mm -hmm. You remember that Jerome has the ability to do to, to that. Right, to, to kill. I mean the, med the medical bot. Oh, well, I'm yeah, sure it's, it's clearly marked as a med bot. Like, you can totally see the red cross, the vital signs across. It's it's completely like this eggshell white color. Right, but is it it's working on hops right now? Yes, that's I, visibly apparent. We and, don't know and, yet if it's on, working, if it's no. like... Its action was being activated, going over, scanning, and it, now it's administering life-saving protocols. Okay. Um, so there's four baddies. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to help hops, but... I, I guess I will do you stunning onslaught mm -hmm. yeah. on. That helps me. The it bot won't help. get shot. No, I just want the bot yeah. to yeah. do its work. If it's doing that, then I'll save my neuro simulator, but I'm scared it's not going to work. I will do stunning onslaught on um, as many of the baddies as I can. Uh, there's four of them. There's four of them. Um, yeah. So it, this acts for one, one, it's one target. It, I don't. It doesn't say. Does it say it's an action? Cause you does it, what? Does it say you do it damage says, to? No damage, but imparts stunned condition to target so that they okay, lose. Okay, so, that, so they to lose target means action. one. Okay, so sure. Target. Okay. So you're gonna be able to stun one of these guys. All right. I'll yeah. I'll, I'll stun one of them. Okay. You just pick one that looks like it was about to target the bot. Yes. Um, just raises its gun, but he's at difficulty because he's kind of slanted back. Uh, go ahead and make your roll. The difficulty for this is six. Um, so it, it costs one intellect. Oh, okay. And oh, so it's automatic? Yeah. Oh. Mm. What All up? right, and it stuns him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm being reminded again why Oya is viciously powerful. Mm -hmm. um, I just had to be so close enough to do it. <laughs> so loses a turn. Yes. He raises the gun and just goes, 
You hear this like growling, snarling sound as he grabs his head. You just extend your hand and and he's down for that turn. He is not making any action. Uh, next yeah. up would be Cass. Cass, you are. You. <laughs> I'm debilitated. I have two points of intellect. If and you I have take no, more also, damage, I will die. And you uh, also have no action this turn because you you got hit. So you're, oh. you're in a coughing fit. You're. <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving from Amy. <laughs> next is going to be. It would have been. Hops. <coughs> I'm. After Hops, it's Hector. Hector is uh, also damaged. So you're. Well, I, I I have a zero Not speed, I have an action, mm. I but that. I still have might and intellect points. Okay, so that'll be good no for hit points. But because oh, you really? failed the attack, you're also <gasps> debilitated this round. Okay. That means Coach, Coach Cheat, you can slide into this thing and. Yes. So Oya would see this because she sees me walking along the thing. Because uh, she sort of reaches into his coat and pulls something on over his head before he goes okay. into uh, the ship. Smart. Why didn't we uh, do that? The rest of you will see that he is wearing what looks like an old Soviet-style gas mask, like one of the creepy mm. looking ones. And it says, no future, written across in marker on the forehead. Oh, God. Uh, oh my gosh, he, that's horrifying. He, he was briefed. He knew what he was getting into. Uh, how many we have? Three, essentially. Three, yes. Because yeah. that fourth one, I'm sure, oh, is never letting move again. I can only target one, yes? Uh, unless you roll really well, but yeah. All right, <laughs> excellent. So I will target, I'm going to spend, this would be speed to spend, yes? Mm -hmm. Very well. And I could spend up to how many? Spend one level of effort. Just one, mm -hmm. all right? But I have, advent I have an edge, so that is only two. Yeah, so two points. All right, so and what is, is difficulty six. to just drop down? Six, five, four. I'm gonna give you another level because they're kind of like they're totally, they, and they can't move, so they're they're practically prone. Three, two. It's difficulty one. And your eye is an aspect. Oh, it says zero. You hit them. I hit if them. If you want to roll to try to crit, you can do that. But, but I will hit them regardless. Yes, you're gonna hit regardless, unless you roll unless. a natural one. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> I hit, but it's just a three. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, you hit one of these guys. Uh, the round just tears through his armor. Um, you see a little bit of that black ichor splat against the back of uh, the wall. Um, you also notice that all of these these mag boots, um, they're the same level of tech, and it's what's keeping them from falling back. Yes, I should not. I'm not wearing mag, bo mag boots. It is just my feet seem oh, to be doing this. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's their turn. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's 6.57. Oh, no. <laughs> So they all keel over and go to sleep. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a note here. <sighs> and that is unfortunately where we have to bring tonight's session to a close. <sighs> okay. Um, oh with, my gosh. Um, the Callisto 6 inside uh, in this, a rough, rough fight. This is the worst cliffhanger you've ever done. <laughs> no, I, yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to leave you guys with this. I'm taking into account the following things. Two things to know before we go. One, in Cypher, when you hit three zeros, you are dead. And there, there really isn't much that can be done at that point. Yeah, in the book it says dead is dead. And yes, it actually says dead is dead. Dead is dead. However, However, it happened on an action that I reversed a rule to that took away your ability to take a deep breath mm. before. Now, I still think that the action economy call was fair, but I think it would also be fair to say that you should be allowed a chance to be resuscitated. Somebody zap my heart. <laughs> However, I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that completely up to what happens when we come back <laughs> to the next episode. And what happens to the medical bot, because if the medical bot's interrupted while it's trying to rescue hops, we're gonna lose hops. Okay. That's gonna be my condition. Okay, protect the med bot at all costs. <laughs> but I'm also gonna say this, the teamwork you guys showed tonight and the danger you guys threw yourself into, you once again showed that the Callisto 6 special abilities is not its powers. It's how you look out for each other, and I'm gonna reward everyone two XP. Good, because we're gonna be spending those Because no one great. in this entire group has any right now. <laughs> I have two. Um, oh, wow. We're gonna pick oh, up next week. You're a little dragon's horde, I love it. <laughs> we're gonna pick up next week, just before we fall out of a stall out of the skies of Los Angeles, but Lacey's gonna keep everything. Thank you. That's right. you kill. I'm gonna Mark. haunt all of you. Mark, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You. Thank you. I am sorry not to uh, be sticking around for the end of the combat. I know, it's too bad, yeah. <laughs> Kashi will just, he'll shoot bad guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I love him piecing. So thank you for bringing 
bringing it back. Um, we will definitely catch you guys next Friday. Don't miss next Friday's episode. We'll see what happens. Uh, and again, real quick shout out to Okie Dokie Dice and Monty Cook Games. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. It means so much to the show. Um, stick around, everybody, because Vampire is coming up next. And we'll see you next Friday. Stay whimsical. And alive.